parts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sex Motion on Power 102, empowering you. Thank you for staying here with us on Power 102.1 FM. And a very special nighttime greetings to you. Special thanks as always to Maggie holding it down in studio for Shane and Galen. What the weekend passed. Well, taking over time, it's now three minutes after nine o'clock. And we do welcome you to Trinidad and Tobago number one nighttime program when it comes to sex education. Sex Explosion with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine. And a very special good evening to you, my brother. How are you today? Pleasant good evening to you. I'm fine. Pleasant Beautiful. good evening to all the listeners out there, all the viewers, those of you on Facebook, on the app, on Instagram. Pleasant good evening. Thanks for joining us with mm -hmm. Explosion. On a Friday. On a Friday. You can, I know you have other things to do, but this is the best thing you can do on a Friday night. Oh, yeah. Be sex educated. Mm -hmm. Get information. Learn things about yourself. Yeah, no There's way. some persons who discover things on this program. Yeah, yeah, like some people know. What is good about this program is that you know where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant good evening to Richard Garcia, Puran Lachman, Gingerbread Man, uh, Robert Piers, um, Stephanie Fraser, Bisun, my cousin, how are you? Dolly Mohammed, I haven't seen you for a very long time. She's an avid listener, Nancy Rampisun, mm -hmm. Debbie Posad, Neil Watless, Stephanie Fraser Santana, Puran Lachman, Delgada Del S. Pesol Williams, okay? Sati Sarup, Melissa D. Rampisun, Brian Babulal. And for those of you on Instagram, well, pleasant good evening to you. We know we'll have more people joining us tonight. On Especially on Facebook, we have a very mm -hmm. large following on Facebook, so I am very... Yeah. Happy for you all, and of course, those of you on the app, you have anything? Um, the app is down there? Right, yes. So, no. Yeah, no, it's up. That's up, it's yeah, up. So, we're across the board. We're across the board, and we're here to talk about sex education. We're here to sex educate you, talk about different things of a sexual nature. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, what are we talking about tonight? You suppose well, have a topic, you know? No, well, before you're getting <laughs> to but before you're getting to this evening's topic, uh -huh. I want you to emphasize and give us a little more on the new venture that you're getting into. You want me to start with that already? Let me leave that for the next hour. You leave that for the next hour. Yeah, let me, let me leave. Okay. Uh, but one, th one thing I must say, mm -hmm. I have to thank all those who have had faith in me or who have faith in me, who have invested in the company, especially Angela and Riaz. Mm -hmm. They have invested heavily. Yeah. And I want to thank them very much. And again, go to the store tomorrow joy toys yeah this is the last weekend for joy toys after that the name is going to change you're going to mm -hmm. see the branding and of course you're going to um you can go up there to, to tomorrow to see all the new stuff that we have gotten mm -hmm. lots of new stuff okay well we're going to get into that but we'll get into that after we're nine we're going to get into that yeah yeah so what's on the menu how 
What you have been doing? Well, I know there's no cricket activities. Who so. tell you there's no cricket? Today we had cricket. Today was the final of the Asia Cup. What with you? Today? Yes. Today was the final of the Asia Cup. India won, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see how You feel, you feel like you see this how whole week there was no. cricket. Bangladesh playing Pakistan. They beat Pakistan. No, well, India know. playing Afghanistan. They tie. Mm -hmm. No, well, I forgot. Well, when in when you we, there's no cricket in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean but the guys yes, are practicing. Yes, yes. I, 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 I travel with our captain um, Wednesday night. We came back on the same flight. Oh. So mm. pleasant good evening to Mr. Bravo. Mm. Yeah, he was in Miami also, like myself. Nice, and we travel nice, back nice, on the same nice, flight. Nice. And of course, there's practice going on right now with the Trinidad team because the Super 50 starts on the third. Oh, yes, that is coming up soon. Yes, yeah, so you go out there and support the, the, the Trinidad yeah. cricket team. You know, you're going to support the boys. <laughs> But don't say there's no cricket uh, going on. No, well, I'm thinking in terms of, you know, when you're speaking in terms of cricket, well, you, let's say in cricket, you, you are an all-rounder listener. But uh, when I'm speaking about cricket, I'm thinking in terms of the West Yeah, Indies that's because you only India. follow one type of cricket, yeah. not me. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Tiwari, good evening to you. How are you, sir? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, I, I follow cricket in all form and fashion. I follow mm -hmm. the Ranji Trophy. I follow everything, everything, everything. I love, I love cricket. Hey, anyway, let me, let me do talk about cricket. No, no, no. We so, no. what I want to talk about tonight is this thing called BND and SNM because I find that a lot of persons are asking me about the topic. Mm -hmm. um, there seems to be something that is peak, um, peaking in the country when it comes to that. Maybe something um, is tickling the fancy of individuals um, interfering with their minds. Um, when I ask all of them, how come you asking about this thing now? Um, did you ever have an interest in it? In in B and the S and M, they suddenly start saying, "Well, Fifty Shades of Grey." I have never seen the movie. Mm -hmm. I have never seen the movie, I've so I will not. I will not profess to know anything about the movie, but I know it is about B and the S and M. Maybe on a lighter side, maybe on a deep dark side, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you a lot about B and the S and M because I know about the psychology of B and the S and M. I know. Um, the whole setup of BND SNM, why it comes about, why person will want to um, dabble in it, what they get out of it, um, what they get participating, those who are the masochistic individuals and those who are sadistic. Mm -hmm. So um, those are those are things that we must understand because some people say, well, you know, I, I don't want to have, like, we have one um, listener who will always talk about slavery and whatnot, but it's not a slave mentality. It has nothing to do with slavery and slave mentality. It has nothing to do with indentureship. It has to do with sexual fun. And once we, once we learn to remove those things from our mind, mindset, especially when we want to equate one thing with the other and it has no equation whatsoever, we must all think about what we like and what we don't like when it comes to things of a sexual nature. But I'll tell you something about most human beings and most persons who grew up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even before that, 40s, um, there was no way of expressing yourself sexually. There was not a, a renaissance or a change in the way people thought about sex, except when you came down to the 60s and you had the Woodstock and you had the hippie movement. Uh -huh. But that did not impact on Trinidad or the rest of the world as it impacted on the United States. And of course, we get all our news from the United States. We get all our behavior and our patterns and whatnot from the United States, whether we like it or not because we are part of the Americas. Before we were influenced a lot about a lot by England. Now, England have a, a shaded past when it comes to things of a sexual nature also. Some of our laws are based on old English laws, which they have done away with, of course, but it's, it's there in our statute books. But you'll find that one of the things that are very popular in, in, in the English um, social setting, sexual social settings, is this thing called discipline, spanking and discipline, especially discipline with a whip or a stick, uh -huh. what we call a switch. You know, long time you tell you go and cut a switch? Oh, yes. A yeah. piece of wood, a, piece, a, yeah. a, a thin piece of wood that you'll cut from a branch, high mm -hmm. so well, you're going for gofer. the tambran wood. No, no, gofer. Now you're going for the gofer wood, you're mad or what? Mm -hmm. If I can lick some gofer. You're just stinger boy. Well, right, but there are individuals who really get a kicks out of this. Mm -hmm. And it is part of their sexual behavior. Now, every country have a, have a development sexually. Whether it be underground or above board, like Norway, Sweden, and those Scandinavian countries, it's above board. Mm -hmm. Now, they live, in a, they live in, a, in, a, in a depressed climate, a very cold climate. Russia, those places are very cold. It's a depressed climate. So they find themselves into sexual things that are not considered to be normal for us. But 
since we are a global village and everyone transcends different boundaries from time to time, or we get information from different boundaries, because the information we would get in Trinidad is not only made up in Trinidad or the Caribbean. It is information that we get out of the United States. It's information that we get out of Europe, England especially. Um, inform information from the Far East, Middle East, all these places we get information from. And we will hear of things from time to time. We will see movies with certain things. And that is what shapes the way we think. We see television shows. You know, I, I heard the um, present commissioner of police, so I was on our radio station, I think it was Monday. You know what, the Monday, it had to be Tuesday. Or Tuesday or this morning, I can't remember. No, Tuesday. And he was talking about Blue Blood, which is a television show with um, Tom Selleck. Uh, yeah. Right, he was mm -hmm. talking about that. That goes to show you how things, even it doesn't matter who you are in Trinidad and Tobago, you, there's a television show that is your favorite. But it's a television show that was not made in Trinidad and it was not made for the Trinidad market. Right. But you are influenced by it. Mm -hmm. Everything, every single thing we do in this country is influenced by something that is foreign, whether we like it or not. If you have our good friend David Muhammad talking about things, he is influenced by what is happening with the black agenda outside of Trinidad and Tobago. Anything that is happening, you win chance, influenced by outside. Garth, you remember when uh, uh, Garth was here? He went, he went away to England to study the prison system and whatnot. Garth? Um, what's his, his name? Garth? Uh, not mm -hmm. Christopher, the other one. He used to be here during the day. Former soldier. Oh, oh, okay. I know who you're speaking about. He was a musician as well. Yes. Um, so those know what Sinclair. Sinclair. It does not matter who you are. You are influenced by something outside. All the DJs, including yourself, are influenced by foreign music, not local music. Local music plays second fiddle to foreign music. So education is the, first, is the same thing. When we were growing up, we know about first primer, second primer, West Indian read on book one, oh, two, yeah. three, four, mm -hmm. and five. Yeah. We knew about that. We could have read all kind of things from that. Poems, whatnot, had nothing to do with that. Winter poems and all them things. Nothing to do with that, but it was there. Correct? That's correct. Right. The new generation, or the generation after us, they got a little more of a Trinidad flavor. We, were, we know Dick Cadora. Them know, mm -hmm. and Boyu, and who, who's the other? I can't remember the other yeah. two. Boyu, and whatever else. But you are always influenced by something outside. When if you think snow cone is a Trinidad thing, snow cone was invented outside of Trinidad. If you think ice cream is a Trinidad thing, ice cream was invented for the whole fair in um, 1904, somewhere there. So, no, 1894. So, all these things, you are influenced by something that is outside, even our sexual behavior. So, sex is natural. Sex is normal for any culture in any country. Sex is natural. Isn't that so? Well, yes, it is. People will have sex. Mm -hmm. They will have sex for procreation. They'll have sex for pleasure. They'll have sex as a means of reward or punishment or even as a crime. People have sex. And that's a given. No matter what country you come from, sex is a given. Without sex, the human race will not be around. But what influences our sexual behavior? What is on that underlying thread that makes you mm. want to do things that, that, that you didn't even think about? Mm. Or it's not part of your culture. There are certain sexual things that have a name. For example, French kissing. Right, yeah. Right? So kissing is associated with French. Mm -hmm. Right? Even 69 is associated with French. The whole concept of oral sex. The orgasm. Le petit mort. Associated mm -hmm. with the French. Greek. Find out somebody tell you Greek style. It means anal intercourse. That's what it means. That's what it means. Yeah. Once you're engaging in anal intercourse, it's Greek. Because the Greeks was always engaging in anal intercourse from time immemorial. As long as they were there, that's what they were doing. So all the different sexual behaviors are associated with some country. The Kama Sutra, for instance, somebody here, the Kama Sutra, they think about India. Yes, well, you, well, well, you yeah. can't think about mm -hmm. anywhere you else. Can't think of anywhere else. Well, right. So you think about there. Shengwa, you think about Japan. So there are different things that Bukake, think about Japan. There are things that comes. Gishas, you think about Japan. Massage and happy ending, you think about China. 
What about us? Well, that's what I'm getting to. I get into Trinidad and Tobago. You're leaving yeah. so the best for last. Then. Yes, we always leave Trinidad and Tobago for last. <laughs> so there are different sexual patterns and sexual behavior that are associated with a country. And that has come down from time after time after time. If you look at all these movies that are made of ancient Rome, you'll see the sexual practices and the sexual behavior of individuals, even homosexuality, which was practiced by soldiers. But it was not considered to be homosexual. Mm, okay. You weren't considered to be less of a man if you engage in that. It was expected of you. Bestiality is associated with which country? There's a country I'm thinking about. I think it was um, Cyprus. What is Cyprus? Um, Greek. Yeah. Greek. That is also associated with the Greek. Bestiality. Mm -hmm. Because the shepherds there were having sex with their sheep. So for them, you talk mm -hmm. about Greek. It means, it means it, and those are the code words for sex. Two persons chatting about sex and use those words. Those are code words. Do you engage in Greek? Means do you engage in bestiality? Mm -hmm. No, they don't use the code words so much because now it's easier to just say, hey, you just have sex with dogs? Or you just have sex with animals? But long ago, those were the coded words that they will use. Mm -hmm. So if they put um, Greek, you know what that means? Right? If they put the word French, they know what that means. English means spanking. So where there are different things that are associated with different in different countries. But our sexual influence, of course, we are a creative people. We behave in a particular way. We are a mixture of people. So our culture is not just a Amerindian culture that we came and we met here. As a matter of fact, their culture is, is, does not have a deep influence on the way we behave. Mm. The Trinidadians of today started with the invaders, the Spanish, the Portuguese, the Dutch, the English. That's where it start, started. Not so much the Portuguese, they came as more, more as, um, indentured laborers. Then you had the Chinese influence, and you had the African influence, well, you had the African influence, then the Chinese influence, and the Indian influence, and of lately the Syrian and Lebanese influence. But you have a mixture of people. And a mixture of people stir up a pot. And that pot that is stirred up is a doglarization, to, for the want of a better word, of sex and sexual practice. Because the type of sex that you would have with someone of your race would be different from the sex that you would want to have with someone of the opposite race. Because it's yeah. always about proving yourself. Yeah. It's always about showing something that is different and putting yourself out as much as you can to satisfy your needs and to satisfy the needs of the person. So there's a whole psychological behavior when it comes to sex in Trinidad and Tobago. Our sex, our culture is also based on carnival. The carnival mentality. And oh, yeah. carnival mm -hmm. includes chutney. Because that, that is not an offshoot of carnival. You know. carnival. Chutney is something separate with the East Indian community. And I'll give you some examples. When I was having... When I was having all these um, challenges with, um, well, you saw what happened with my case. Yes, I with am. customs. Yes, I, yes. I, I was surprised you didn't bring that up first. No, I must say congratulations. Thank no. you very much. But my, I, I say congratulations to my lawyers. They're doing a fantastic mm -hmm. jobs and yeah. job, and very soon we'll be um, going one step further. I told you step one was last week. I told, yes. I mentioned that. I know you mentioned to me that you're going to start it off with baby sets and then eventually. Well, that was our first step. Mm -hmm. And you see what has happened with our yes. first step because they yeah. couldn't answer this, a simple question. Mm -hmm. Step two is on its way. I think 24th of October, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. And step three would be 1st of November. Mm -hmm. so, so we have steps. So, so we have it all cut it We have steps. We have steps. So we, we, we're going and we're going, as I say in, in, the, in Hindi word, dire dire. Mm -hmm. A little bit by a little yeah. bit. Dire dire. So in other words, in an English version, you would have to say, creeping before you walk. Yes. Dire dire means slow steps. Slow steps. You're moving dire dire. But you're moving. You're moving. <laughs> moving forward. And I was happy to, I was ha I, I don't know how I forgot to mention that mm -hmm. to you, but I was really happy to see. Well, I was out of the country that when time. that happened. My lawyers took care of what they had to take care of, and they know I have commitments outside of mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago, and they'll, um, they told me I could go ahead and do whatever I have to do. Mm -hmm. They will handle this, the situation, and they handled it very well. So I must say um, to all the folks out there who have been backing me, mm -hmm. Lending their support and whatnot, it means a lot, but um, the legality of it is being worked out. And as I said, well, we'll deal with it at 9 o'clock in a, in a deeper way. So we'll bring it up at 9 yeah. o'clock. So let's yeah. continue. So the sexual practices we 
engaging has a lot to do with our upbringing and our culture, the culture that we brought from our for, for parents and from our, which, whatever continent we came from. So there was a mixture, amalgamation of people. And the influence of that also came from North America. Mm, okay. And this is where the largest influence in our sexual behavior came about from. The music of North America is what influences us with our behavior. Jazz, rock and roll, rock, pop, R&B, that's all part of who we are. Because that strong influence, mm -hmm. the music, the rent-a-tile, the gyration, the swinging of the hips, the cent, ten cents, ten cent, five cent, ten cent dollar, that came from a joke. You know that came from a joke, right? You ever heard the joke? No, never heard the joke. Yeah, I heard the joke. Well, long before the song came out, it was, um, I think, I can't remember who But I know it. they linked it with something. No, it's, it's a joke. It was a joke at Spectacular Forum, one of the um, MCs there. Who was the MCs there? The MC there Tommy Joseph? Time. No, it wasn't Tommy Joseph. Tommy Joseph. Uh, I know Fabian did some work there. Yeah, Fabian, Errol Fabian, but it wasn't Errol Fabian. I, I heard the joke first, mm -hmm. and then Colin Lucas came out with the song. Send five cents, ten cents, yeah, dollar. Which was a super hit. But... It's still a super hip, mm -hmm. but the behavior and the movement of the hip has to do with the song. But it is not the song that created the movement. It is the movement that created the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No visualizing. Yeah, it is. It is. Yes. Because the, if you listen to the joke, the joke was somebody coming to Trinidad and learning how to whine. That was the joke. And you put a cent, a five cents, a ten cents, and a dollar. So that will teach you to whine. You go in, you go in sequence and you, you whine. Mm -hmm. But... Whining is also part of Trinidad culture. So our culture is an amalgamation of sex, music, and outside influence. And the outside influence I'm talking about is all the people that came to Trinidad had a certain type of sexual practice or preference that they brought here. Unknowingly, it became part of our culture. Because if you, are, if you came from China, uh -huh. you'll have a sexual practice that your that would be inbred, inbreded into you because it's part of your DNA. That's why I tell, I tell you, if you put any two persons together, a male and a female, and you put a penis in a vagina, the man or the boy or whoever it is having intercourse will know what to do. He will start to move automatically. The woman may not. She may lie down there and take it because she thinks that's what she has to do. Unless she comes to a, from a culture that say, I have to wind back if I'm feeling sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, as I was explaining to you, the chutney culture, my father, he called me up. That, that's how I strayed a moment ago. I want to go back to that strain. My father called me and he said, son, you know, um, when you go to a matiko and think what it is about, I say, yeah. He said, there's use a bygone to teach the girl how to have sex. In. I said, no, because I, I used to go and peep. Mm -hmm. As little children, we used to go and peep. <laughs> and that's what the matiko is about. Yeah. <laughs> when, they, when they go to the neighbor's house, yeah. in a Hindu wedding, mm -hmm. like the Friday night, the bride leaves her home and goes to the neighbor house and that's where they do the whole matiko dance and whatnot to teach. Oh. It's a teaching. So the whole sexual act is played out but it's played out in song. So there are songs in Hindi that are sung about what is going to happen to you the night of your wedding. So you are taught at that point in time, not before. So only married woman and the bride goes to that. Oh, okay. It is not the young girls that goes to that. The young girls have a ritual that they have to perform prior to the bride and the older ladies going to that. So he told me to bring it up when, when we were doing the case. And what I said, that, that is irrelevant. I don't need to do that because I don't want to get in into the religious aspect or the mm -hmm. cultural aspect. I want to get into what is law. Okay. So we left it yeah, at law. So but I'm way. explaining that tonight yeah. because it's fun to explain that. Mm -hmm. So that is part of the culture and part of the the, the whole initiation into the sexual act. So if you are a person of that ilk, whatever race or religion you are, and I'm not going to hone in, hone in on any one race or religion, because what we're dealing with is an amalgamation or a mixture of race and religion that is creating the Trinidad pot. Mm -hmm. We're all in the Trinidad pot. Oh yeah, mix up something. Right. But it's, I'm not talking about a mixed race, you know. I'm talking no, about no, a mix up to... pot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So eventually, somewhere along the line, a person of one race would have had sex with a person of another race. And that didn't start with the East Indian and the, and the Africans. It started way before that. I am sure that there were conquerors who came from in, um, Spain who had sex with Amerindian. I'm sure about that. Nobody could tell me that didn't happen. 
There's no one who can convince me or tell me otherwise because a conquering person always use sex as a weapon. Sex is the number one weapon that is used in war. You know? The number one psychological weapon is sex, rape. Bullets, guns, bombing, fire, all those things are used to destroy. But to conquer a person or to conquer a people, rape is the weapon that is used. So no matter how much they try to outlaw rape with um, invasion of a country and whatnot, that is not going to be outlawed and it's not, not going to stop. Nothing is going to stop that because once you, once you invade another country, you will find that rape is, the war, is, a, is a weapon. Just as the Mughals use rape in India and created a different race also out of that. That was created there. And the British did the same thing. There are lots of blue-eyed, blonde-haired Indians running about. But that has to do with the English influence. Also, although you have Kashmiri people or people from North India who are like that. Yeah. The Aryans. Mm -hmm. But anytime you think that these things don't happen is because you're living in a, a vacuum and you, you're not aware of what is happening in the world. So we have a situation here where our influence comes from that pot of different influence and that influence came about in language, came about in food, came about in clothing, came about in music, so why it wouldn't come about in sex? You want to tell me why we'll take sex and throw it out the door and say that, that never influences us? That is not part of our influence? I think one BS. The, I think one of the reasons is because, as we have mentioned in past programs, when you mentioned the word sex, your mind kind of closed in a bit. The mention of the word sex causes that to happen. But the behavior of sex, the sexual behavior of individuals does not cause that to happen. Mm -hmm. Because when you are in bed and you feeling sweet with your man or you feeling sweet with your woman, all those things go out the door and you behave wantonly when it comes to sex. Mm -hmm. Well, that is correct, Ian, but I'm speaking in terms of just mentioning the word. No, but this is not mentioning the word sex. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. It is not the mention of the word it's sex. The it's the, beha the behavior okay. when you're mm -hmm. having sex. Yeah, okay. The so you will bring whatever is part of your culture, whoever you are. There was a time that Sparrow even sang about it. Indian whining out of time. You feel it is fine, Indian whining out of time now? No. No. Nah. I know it, there was a time you think all Indian women had flat ass. Mm -hmm. really, yes, Think down, eh? no. Take a look down eh, and see what you see. No, those were the days. Those were the days. But again, it is all a fallacy that is perpetuated by song, but also perpetuated by what people say. But when it comes to sexual practices, you and you and your partner alone is the, you are the only two persons in that bed or that bedroom or that locked up wherever area that you're having sex, whether it be a barn, an outhouse, or wherever you decide to have sex. And you're having sex. So your patterns and behavior, your favorite position and all those things come into play. Or the position that you think would be most pleasurable for you, which has a lot to do with your upbringing or standards. There are some women who will not like to participate in certain, for example, perform oral sex. Mm -hmm. But when they get down into it and they realize how pleasurable it is for themselves and for their partner, they will do it. But it may not be part of their culture of doing it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. So the transition takes place. Things start to change. And then you have the influence of that great influenza. And I don't mean the coal. <laughs> for the want of a better word. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of television and movies. More so movies. More, yes. More I think yes. the first time Clark Gable appeared on the TV screen with uh, on the on the movie screen without with a shirt on button without a vest every man got rid of their vest and that's a fact that's a movie fact people got rid of their vest because every man used to wear a vest and then a shirt over their vest it was standard way of dressing it was a standard way of wearing a hat and do you know why people used to wear hats all the time because in the industrial revolution there was a lot of suit in the air so they used to wear the hat to protect them he their heads mm. But after the Industrial Revolution and things started to change into modernization, there was no need for hats. Then it became a style. But then there was a purpose of hats. There was a purpose of the undershirt. 
But when a star boy of Clark Gable influence appear on the silver screen uh, there, that's what it was called, the silver screen. Silver screen, yeah. With his shirt on button and there was no vest underneath, man started to pelt away the vest. Mm -hmm. The seals on vest dropped. Dropped. And that's a fact. It dropped. Because no one was going out there anymore to buy vests. The in thing now was to be vestless. Just as the in thing now is to be tubeless. Yeah. Right? For women and men. So there are many things that influence us and we don't even know the movies influence us. The guys wearing their pants under their buttocks. The first time anyone in Trinidad would have seen that would have been on the silver screen. And then you have a few fools who will say, well, I want to wear my pants like that. But it was not big, or, or either that or they traveled to North America and, and they saw that, it there. And they saw it there. It's but the that. influence didn't come from Trinidad or Trinidad prisons. And that's a prison, that's a prison style. That's a style that people wear in prison. So you, you'll find the majority of whoever was in prison, whether it be the black population or whatever in the United States, they were the ones who were wearing their pants like that. I saw a guy walking through um, Dolphin Mall, not International Mall, um, I think Monday or Tuesday. And his pants was literally by his knees. The waist of his pants was literally by his... I don't know how they just keep it up. I, don't I really... I don't know. I don't know this walk. Well, he, if you see how he was walking, like a fool. Like a total idiot. But he thought he was well-dressed because he had his jockey shorts showing and his pants down by his knees. His knee and thing. For them. Yeah. But those are the influence, but it all... Fool, all the, is the sexual influence was not blatant because on the silver screen there were things that were shown on the silver screen that would influence people in their way they behave sexually that we know is not aware of you know because there's something called subliminal advertising just as how long ago do you know why popcorn and coke is the most popular thing in movies when you go to the theater do you know why no in the 60s they used to flash while the movie showing Buy popcorn, popcorn and coke, popcorn and coke, but very quickly. So your eyes will, your eyes don't pick it up, but your brain pick it up. Subliminal advertising was being done. People were being forced to get up and go and buy coke, coke and popcorn, and they didn't know why. They were flashing that while the movies were showing. The word popcorn and coke was flashing in the movie. That's a serious thing, you know. Until they ban it, but they still do it. They still do it differently. Yeah. When you're watching a movie, you'll see a guy with a coke in his hand. So you will think, oh boy, he drinking a coke, boy. I want to go, I want to go and get a coke. Or if they want to, want you to buy a beer, they show you a, a, dry, a guy drinking a beer. It has nothing to do with the movie. You never notice in some scenes in the movie, you have nothing to do with the movie, but is a lot of product is being shown. Oh yeah, always. You never notice why? Always. Do you know why? It's to get you to want to buy those products. It's advertising within the movie. So it is a form of advertising. Yes. Yes, it is. When you hear. An actor say they go into a, a, a restaurant mm -hmm. in a generic form. It is they just want to establish that the actor is going to a restaurant. But when they want to advertise a restaurant, you'll hear he going to X Y Z restaurant. That is advertisement. It is getting the actor to say, "I eat by X Y Z at a restaurant." I had a friend who was big into this. You know. He became a multi-millionaire doing that. You know, putting products in movies. You know. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what he did. It's not by chance you'll see somebody pick up a particular brand and using it. Yes, it's called brand placement. No. But I saw all you know it. No. But before it was subliminal advertising and it was outlawed. So now in product, product placement is what they do. But it is not only product placement. If they want you to have a certain trend, for example, because of who owns these um, companies that make movies? And go back and check. There were certain things that were being said about sexuality and sexual behavior, even circumcision, that was being bandied about in these movies because they were owned by, owned by Jewish companies. Mm. So they were hailing circumcision. So everything was about circumcision. And you will see it a lot in TV shows and whatnot because it's Jews who does be the writers. Oh yeah. So they write they basically they, they write, write what they believe. Yeah, they write the script. They, they write will script. write their belief. Mm -hmm. That is how the script is written. If somebody asks you to write a script and you are influenced by certain th certain behaviors or by your religion, you are going to put that into the writing. 
So it's the very t- same thing with sex. That's why you see a lot of homosexuality on, on the movies and television. Because the guys who are doing that are homosexuals. There's no way to get, get away from that. So a lot of script and a lot of things that have been written is based on that sort of movement. Because they want you to think like them. Even though this is, might be out of the depth, but I know in real life now, there's a case going on with um, these two puppets. Ernie Bur- and Ernie. Bert, but that is a fact. And what they were saying is that even though the people who released saying one thing, but the man who is writing about them, writing the stories, he wrote the stories, the episodes, with them based as gay. Yes. The creator did that? The creator. Yes. People can say whatever they want, you know. We know that from way back when. I know that from... I I studied um, sexology since what? The 1970s? Uh The late 1970s. And we knew that. Ernie and Bert was a gay couple. It was nothing else. It was. It could. It couldn't be anything else other than that. Is the same thing the odd couple, oh, which yeah. was a comedy, not the new odd couple, the odd no, couple the of the, the um, Kaufman. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the. I remember yeah, the old that is what it was. But they couldn't show them sleeping in the same bed and having sex. But the whole scenario was that of being gay. So that is how these things are forced upon people. And I have to use the word force because. It is persons of that ilk and persons of that behavior who are writing these things. Anyway, folks, taking over time, it's now 22 minutes before 10 o'clock. You are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM with your host, Dr. Raj Ramdanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center in St. Augustine. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. <laughs> There you go. Thanks. I know, I know what family do with this chair. With what? I don't know what you do with the chair. But I have a... Want to get your products and services out to more customers? How about getting more people into your store? Does your brand need a boost in exposure? Then radio advertising on Power 102 is the solution you've been looking for. With packages tailored to your needs and a team to create the ideal radio ad, the choice is clear. Power 102, empowering you. So call us today at 62 Power, that's 627-6937, and ask to speak to a client advisor about your ideas and brand. We are Power 102, empowering you and your business today. Incredible India, located at the white tent behind KFC and Pizza Hut Laramie. Final extension, definitely close on Monday, October 8th. Once again, only get 50% off. Come and shop in AC Comfort, full Indian food court. Home that I don't want that in real hot. It's hot, good. Garments, footwear, jewelry and much more. We have set wins and credit card, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Incredible India, located at the white tent like, behind KFC family. and Pizza Hut Laramie. Yeah, I thought you must bring a cloth and throw it over. Oh God, trouble. <laughs> oh God, me. of car theft feel helpless at that dreadful moment not knowing if their car will ever be recovered don't let this happen to you get car safe from air support tactical security they maintain a 100 percent recovery rate using their military trained response teams and advanced online tracking solution call air support today at 225-8725 or visit them on facebook at air support gps air support gps for peace of mind Calypso. The brother planning for them on this. I have some Calypso to drive on them. All out of the womb of struggle and rebellion. Calypso. The language of uprising and emancipation from the African slaves on the plantations. Calypso. Sounds of freedom and revolt. Calypso. From satirical and biting lyrics to the sometimes subtle double entrange, political and social commentary. So, I gave you a nice bit of to enjoy. 
Not man is something, is that right? Yeah, what's his... Um, he's live recording, live recording, the full concert? No, no. Blow your mind. He's a... He, he, he's a... First time I saw that was in um, Santo Domingo. He's a trip boy. He could sing boy. A natural or no? Yeah, no. Start your weekends with Sir Charles and Calypso Classics. Saturday mornings, 7th to 9 a.m. Calypso Classics. Calypso. Enjoy classics from all the ways of Calypso. Sparrow, Stalin, Kitchener, Roger, Shadow, Calypso Rose, and many more Calypso Classics with Sir Charles. <laughs> Put that on that one anyway. No, on this one now. The power of Calypso. All inclusive Saturdays on Power 102 FM. Yo, this is Marshall Montana on Power 102 FM. With the best music and personalities to power your day. All day on a Saturday. Sir Charles, Chris, DJ Maggie, Gayland, and the boy, they had um, that juvie morning thing. Oh, it was. You went great. I didn't go up vexed. I, I, I told my wife about it. And she's yeah, like, no. What? That was. I saw videos. Uh -huh. People posted videos. Family. I see my friend Michael Weiss was there. See, that uh, was great. Where they had it from? Where, where was the um, parade? It started at um, Invaders Panyard and they move around the oval. Okay, okay. What? So they went up um, that street there. Yeah. It's just wrong the block. Wrong block. It's a big block, eh? but you know. But it was. So they started in Vida's Pan, yeah, they went down to the oval and went wrong the oval. Wrong, yeah. But great, great, nice crowd. I hear that. Nice crowd. Old, old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is but it? you know next year, they were eh? Well, yeah, that was about to tell you. Yeah, you know next year. Uh, it will be but, invaded. Um, it was great. From what I saw, even. People brought bands with t-shirts. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, I was telling the guy who was my friend, those are my, some of my friends. It was good. Really, really good. But who thought of that? Peter Samuel? What, with the costumes? No. Or the, none. Invaders themselves. Oh, invaders? Yeah, they used to have, um, they used to have a barbecue on Independence Morning. Like when the parade used to pass there. Yeah. So they got the okay and tried it the first year and it, it was, everybody went after it so they continue but this year was this year was excellent excellent We're taking what time it's now 16 minutes before 10 o'clock. You are in on the inside of Trinidad and Tobago number one nighttime program when it comes to sex education. And may I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Sex Explosion with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanan, the only sexologist in the Caribbean of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center in Augusta. Yeah. So you realize how brand placement, mm -hmm. even the things that we were seeing as children, would influence our sexual thought. Oh, yeah. So the very same thing is happening now. Guy write a book. Mm -hmm. Somebody sat down and read the book and say, wait a minute, I like this. I like what it says. I like the whole idea of this pleasure pain thing. I like the spanking. I like the restraint. I like these things. So let me create a movie out of it and let me glorify it in a way that others will be interested in it or others who have a sense of wanting to try it would be influenced into trying it so that's why you have now a lot more people male and female more so female who are interested in BNDS and M all because it's a thought that was planted in people's mind before because if you watch Benny Hill that was the whole team of Benny Hill yeah. was always that oh yes mm -hmm. anyone who looked at Benny Hill Good old Benny. and <laughs> couldn't pick up on that something, something is wrong with no, you something, yeah. that was I mean it was so right all the English it. comedy always had a, 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 a sprinkling mm -hmm. of spanking or, or um, some sort of restraint or control it was always there. The tread was there. 
Now you have a full-blown movie about it. So the ladies who knew nothing about it, maybe like a little choking, because some people like some people like different things during sex, but they don't know they like it until it is introduced to them. Uh -huh. You wouldn't know if you like to be slapped while having sex until somebody slap you while having sex. You know? And I'm using an extreme. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm using an extreme is that you wouldn't allow anybody to slap you like that. But if while having sex, the person you're having sex with, something come in his or her mind to slap you and bust a slap on you and all of a sudden you realize that you get more excited, what are you going to do? Not ask the person, do that again? Because you re didn't retaliate. Your, your response to it was totally different from what the person expected or maybe it was what the person wanted. Mm -hmm. Because the person may have had that in their mind. Now let me tell you something about having something in your mind. The things that you think about, conceptualize, uh -huh. verbalize, you throw it out in the universe. It's out there. But it's inside of you. You will come across someone accidentally, by design, by choice, who will have a similar interest in what is going through your mind. But you don't know that because you can't read people's mind. Mm -hmm. He or she cannot read your mind. And one day in conversation or otherwise, the topic will come up about something that is part of your curiosity. And let's use BNDS and M and stick with BNDS and M and nothing else. So your thing is to tie up someone. You're not a sadistic person. You just would like to tie up someone or handcuff them and, you know, have co total control over them. And you meet this person and things are going well with you. You may not be a sexual situation, but you're having conversation. And now it's easier to have conversation with people. Long ago, it was much more difficult. Oh, yes. Long ago, it was tough. And now it's easier to bring up something of a sexual nature. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in, in the first 10 sentences... You could be talking about sex mm -hmm. within your first 10 sentences with someone. Mm -hmm. In today's Where, world. Yeah, in today's world. Yeah. Whether it be flirtatious or by design. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Right. So here you are talking about handcuffs. And you just mentioned it. You, say, you like handcuffs? Do you ever think about having sex with handcuffs? And handcuffs? What do you mean handcuffs? Well, like if somebody handcuff you and handcuff you to the bed. And the person say, yeah, but my bed, you can't handcuff me to no bed because you don't have no headboard. Mm -hmm. Say, no, 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 forget your bed, we're just, you know, just talking. But the minute you use certain words, just as how you have that supercomputer in the United States that picks up on certain words that you use on your telephone conversation to find out if you're a terrorist or, or other things, mm -hmm. just so your brain is that supercomputer, you know. Because you'll hear the person mention a certain word and all of a sudden your mind goes racing. One of the things that goes with your mind that goes racing is you getting excited sexually because oh. you have heard the word mm -hmm. that is triggering that. So one of the things that is going to trigger how you feel sexually might be that word of bondage, handcuffs, whips, chains, shackles, leg spreader, blindfold, a simple thing as blindfold, control. Given into control. And all of a sudden you say, but this person is thinking like me. I wonder how far I could go with this conversation. And you start talking about it. But if that very same person is looking at a movie that has a scene or the movie is based on what you're thinking, what happens to you? You are influenced more by the movie. You start developing that brevity you are now wanting to the test no you are now wanting to see more not to test it you want to see more that is where the craving comes in mm -hmm. so you are now craving certain things because this has triggered something in your mind It's like when you're trying to brainwash somebody, uh -huh. 
and they do this in spy spy movies and and in reality and you want to get someone to 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 wrap their mind around a concept you'll introduce keywords to them and then they start developing something it's the same thing that's why when persons ask me when shall i discuss with my partner a threesome well you don't discuss it while you're having breakfast because the brain is not that part of the brain that deals with sex and pleasure that comes from the physical touch or having intercourse is not being engaged at that time mm. the part of the brain that satisfying hunger and thirst is being engaged so why are you going to mention a tree while having breakfast or dinner you mention it when you are feeling amorous or you're getting into a sexual mood and a sexual behavior so you have individuals who are watching these movies and there are lots of movies now because once a movie is a success you'll, get, you'll, you'll have a part two oh, and yeah. a part three and a part four and yeah. a part five and a part um <coughs> this movie yeah. as a matter of fact they even make a series out of them after a while they make a series for television too mm -hmm. yeah but the spin-off is that there are other movie houses other production company that is going to start doing movies also yeah because they're watching your success. because they've seen your success so if you could be successful with this um, theme why can't I create something similar not to copycat you but something similar and get in on the act I could break it down to a street level for you or no? well go break it down like how people see that you've been successful with adult toys mm -hmm. they're inclined to want to get involved well yeah well we know, we, we know that one <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying they want to follow you. <laughs> yes, you, yes. So, so we have this trend. Of with the BNDS and them, it's the same thing. We all have it in us. So it has nothing to do with slavery and indentureship and wanting to be beaten. Why oh, don't want nobody beat me or put me in chains again? It has nothing to do with that. When person tied now, reading about those things. Or seeing it in a movie could also excite you, you know. There are things that you see in a movie, for example, rape, that could excite you, you know. And you may be totally against rape. But the way it is created and put together in the movie, it is meant to excite you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are many topics when it comes to sex that could trigger something in your brain that wants you to participate, who wants you to see more of it. So the BND S and M thing is is multiplying itself right now because of movies with that theme. And as a matter of fact, at the present situation there's more and more coming on stream because there's a likeness on people going. Well that's after. exactly it because people are going for it. It is a theme that is good at the box office. You're making money from it. Mm -hmm. Because no movie producer wants to produce a movie and not make money. No, bottom line is dollars coming in. That is dollars in your pocket. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, some of the successful movies of the past was done on a shoestring budget. And they made millions, up to billions of dollars. And some of them had a very huge budget. And they couldn't even make the get the money to complete and it took them years to complete mm. and when it did come out they made so much money it's unbelievable yeah they do yeah mm. anyway folks taking your time is now five minutes before 10 o'clock you're on the inside of the explosion on power on two point one fm now folks here's where we give you the opportunity to interact with dr raj ramanan and you've been hearing the subject s and m and I'm pretty sure some of you might want to get some more answers to this particular subject. So feel free to give Dr. Raj a call in studio right now at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you do want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power102fm. You're listening to a program that's informative, educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 102 FM. Pleasant good night to WP. Hey!
welcome back. I have to say welcome back because I, we haven't heard from her. Yeah, we haven't had her in a while. In a little so. while. She's back. But beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you very much, Mira. Now, there's a whole business that was created out of that, you know. The B and the S and M. Mm -hmm. Before B and the S and M was limited to ropes, silk mm -hmm. ropes, handcuffs, mm -hmm. a little bit of chain, nickel clamp. Now there are thousands of items. In. There's a company called Fetish Fantasy that does about fifty different items for bondage and discipline. As much as that. As much as that. As a matter of fact, if you go to the new store, mm -hmm. Joy Toys. Yeah. Well, let me don't use the word joy toys. Let me just use the store by Grand Bazaar. Mm -hmm. By Grand Bazaar, not mm -hmm. in Grand Bazaar. Mm -hmm. By Grand Bazaar. We have one of those racks that you could string up a person on with all the clamps and whatnot, you know. Mm -hmm. Because it's part of the fun. And as a matter of fact, you can buy it and take it home. Because I don't know if you recall, and I haven't done this in years. I think when we first started in... 2000 around within the first five years I think it was 2003 2004 mm -hmm. I was telling individuals that you should try to have a private area if you could afford it or if you do have it in your home if you have the extra room or whatever children are moved out or you no longer have the use of a maid so you have a, a private room that you could create a sex room out of you a play room oh a play room okay mm -hmm. yeah and in that sex playroom, you could have all kind of things. All kind of different things. And one of these days when you start dealing with the sexual magic, you'll realize how useful that room could become. Well, I like that, I like that phrase though, sexual magic. You know, there's a, there's, there's a whole theme and a whole um, ritual called sexual, sexual magic. magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but they show you... Let me not go down that no, road. No, but... It's all about different levels of sex. It has to do with tantra and all those oh, things. So let me let me let me let me let me let me get let me reverse from here. <laughs> Rewind. That's heavy stuff. Yeah, that's too heavy. But uh, 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 if I start that tonight, I will go crazy. Just talking about it. But when you look at the whips and the paddles and the chains and the the, the riding crop and all those things, mm -hmm. these are everyday items. You know, a riding crop is what jockeys use to stimulate the horse to run faster. That's why it's called a riding crop. It is what. These ladies of the past used to, when they were right inside, saddle used to have that to control the horse. Mm. Right? All, all those ladies with their gloves and their black. Oh, yeah, the tunic. The tunic and all that. And then the horse right inside saddle. Mm -hmm. They'll have that in their hands with, with the strap that holds here. When, when you introduce something new like that into the bedroom, well, I mean, it's. Well, let's think about it logically. Women who used to wear garters and um, different types of uh, restraining items around their body, can can and, mm -hmm. and all those things. The easiest way to have sex was to lean forward, brace yourself, lift it up from the back because there must be an opening for them to go toilet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There must be an opening for them to go toilet because they couldn't take out all that to go to oh, the oh, washroom. No. No. And mm -hmm. you could have sex through that opening. That's mm -hmm. what it was. Yeah. That can can used to be heavy. Well, stuff, right. No, but what I'm saying is that those things were restrictive. If you mm -hmm. had to go to the washroom in a rush to do something, you yeah. have a hot pee. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Take out all that to go and pee? Right. No, they had to have a, a way of a, a, sh a shortcut. In colder countries, when mm -hmm. you have to wear all these clothing and whatnot, there must be a shortcut mm -hmm. for you to defecate or yeah. urinate. So all you do is have buttons at the back or something and they have an opening and you can do your stuff. Mm. Yes. So you made it easy to have sexual intercourse. It's the very same thing when you come to when it comes to wanting to role play. And there are some women who like to role play. They like to take the lead in um, the lead in having sex. They like to dominate. Some persons like to be dominated. Not all men want to um, dominate all the time. Not all men like that at all. There are those who would like to also be dominated. Mm -hmm. Especially those who, whose job and, and um, 
wherever they, they interacting with people, put them in, in a, a position of authority, they may want to know what they, um, what can I do to be on the receiving end as opposed to the giving end. There are a lot of headmasters long ago who would like to dish out licks, who would like to go home and get licks too. Mm -hmm. Because a headmaster, headmistress team in English porn is a very big, big thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you study porn, you can make a study out of porn, you know. If you study porn, the types of porn that are made, the types of porn that are downloaded in certain countries, for example, Trinidad and Tobago, you'll be shocked to know what are the types of porn that are downloaded here. You know? And you could do a study of that and get into the mindset of individual and the sexual practices and behavior of people in Trinidad. A man who is watching gay sex is inclined to have gay sex. Mm -hmm. There's no two ways about that. Or he may be already engaged in gay sex. Even though he is living a straight life. The same thing with spanking. If the theme of spanking comes up in the amount of downloads that there are. Uh -huh. With things of a sexual nature. It will show you a certain segment of population. And when it was broken down, you know Sangri Grandi and Separia was the two leading places. For the downloading of porn, right? You yeah. remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So if you break that down further, and you break it down into categories, mm -hmm. as to who watch what, how, what percentage of men looking at porn or women looking at porn, that will blow your mind. You could do a whole, you could do a whole research on that. You could write a paper on that. You could write a book on it. But you have to have the background. You must know why some men like Bukake or some women, some men don't. Why some women like it and some women don't. That is ejaculation on the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are men who like to do that. There are some men who like to be, have oral sex or fellatio performed on them until they ejaculate in a woman's mouth. That is also a form of control. There are some women who like to, like to have sex and be roughed up. There are some women who like to, be, like to have sex and be marked. There are some women who like to have sex and feel pain together with pleasure. Mm. And there are some men also who like the very same things. So the theme of sexual behavior, what you enjoy or how you enjoy, has to come from somewhere. It doesn't come from outside, it comes from within you. Because there are individuals who are listening right now. And some of the things that I'm saying tonight is foreign to them. Because they won't have nothing to do with that. But education, education does not make you blind to information. If you want to be an educated person, if you want to be a well-rounded person with information, you've got to accept information. And you don't kill the messenger. No, you listen and take in the information. You're taking the information so you'll be informed. Yeah. It does not mean to say you will participate or even like what you're hearing. No, but as a matter of fact, even if somebody mentioned that they participated in it, at least you know what terms, what they're speaking and what right. level they're coming from. And you have, a, you have a fair understanding of what it is about. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why even in the days of apartheid, there were people who were saying, saying I see nothing wrong with South Africa. And another person who would be um, negatively impacted by what was happening with apartheid in South Africa. Some, mm -hmm. I know I'm talking about apartheid in South Africa and some people even know what the hell that is. Mm -hmm. They don't know what it is. No, some people don't know right. that term. Because it doesn't matter to them. But it was a serious thing for persons who thought it was wrong and it was no big deal for whoever looked at it and said, what is the big deal? I saw them just live. Yeah. That have nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking your time, it's now six minutes after 10 o'clock. You are on the inside of Trinidad and Tobago number one nighttime program. When it comes to sex education, nobody does better what we do best, taking sex education to a whole new level with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Vandenen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center in St. Augustine. Well, our lines are open for those of you who would love to participate within the program. Feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, maybe you're kind of shy to hear your voice on here. You can also do that by 
sending your WhatsApp or text or messages to its private mobile, 740-1961. You're listening to a program that's informative, educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 102 FM. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Jennifer says, she, nice topic, I like to dress in tall boots and whip. I think that will look nice, especially with her. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Shivani says, good evening guys, listening as usual. Usha says, good night, Usha from Rio Claro, Please. locked on. Mm -hmm. And to all the wonderful folks in Rio Claro, a pleasant good evening to you. Izzy says, I can't say what she says, but mm -hmm. Izzy, where <laughs> are you? <laughs> Anytime I, anytime I hear easy, I think about Sunday morning, you know, easy on Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> Commodores? Oh, yeah. One of my favorite groups of the 70s. Oh, yeah. Good old Lionel family. Nah, no, no, no. Commodores is not Lionel Richie. I'll correct you right here. Rewind and come again? Lionel Richie came from the Commodores, but Commodores is, Lionel Richie was not the Commodores. Because after he left, they were still successful. Yeah, but they, uh, we won't uh, get into uh, that, uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, now we're going to leave that for another time. We'll leave that for uh, off here. <laughs> I dislike when people say that. No, I, I no, they only had one hit after that, though. Doesn't matter. They were still the Commodores. They were still touring and they were still having mm -hmm. concerts sell out. Yeah, but I like the word you used, was. Um, being, well, there was. There was a, yeah, a, a group. Yeah, but they, they, no longer, they no longer but, exist. No, but... The thing about it is most of these singers who have left leading group, Peter Citera is another one who left Chicago. Pleasant good evening, Dr. Raj and Junior. Daniel is locked on. People, hey, people, Daniel. Great, mm -hmm. great work. Thank you. Yes. And that's it for the... That's it for um, messages that came. But don't forget, folks, our lines are open. For those of you who would love to interact with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnan, and feel free. 2228255 also at 6128255 yep she tastes nice eh? yeah very nice has a nice body taste and I, I think one of the reasons is because of the weather no okay. take that call hmm. Jason Sui hello and welcome to Sex Explosion good evening <coughs> hello good evening I'll take Next that person left us Hello, good evening. Welcome to Sex Explosion. Could you put the volume down on your radio for us a bit and listen to us on the phone? Thank you. Good evening. Junior. Hey, family. Yeah, man. Well, Let's talk something. <coughs> you don't have to like what you're hearing, but listen to your Lord. There's a big educational program. Keep it going. You just learn every single thing. Even maths and all. Good night to you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, but that's a fact. Okay. You don't have to like everything that you're listening to. You. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I listen to all kind of things. I read, I listen, I watch different types of um, podcasts and different things. Mm -hmm. So to learn. No, yeah, yeah. I may not agree with everything that has been said, but I learn something from mm -hmm. it because the person will have a good point. Yeah, but at least if someone brings it up in a I could, I can, could carry on a conversation with them. Yeah, you, could or relate to what they, you could relate to what they're saying. 2228255, also at 6128255. Sex Explosion with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramana. So, when you are influenced by certain things, which we are heavily influenced by in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. whether we like it or not, it is a fact. And it shapes your mind. And it shapes your behavior. Take that call. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, right, Doctor Raj. You mentioned recently. You said the um, the brain is the largest sex organ in the body. Yes. Is that biologically correct? And when largest does not mean in size. In. Yeah. I think I stumped you there. No, no. You say the brain is the largest um, sex organ or organ? The largest sex organ we have in our body is the brain. Because sex con is conjured up in the mind. Yeah, but biologically, is that correct? No, biologically, yes, of course. Because the brain sends the signal to the penis. And not, <laughs> uh, not the other way. I think that is more psychological answer, you know. No, 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 no. If your brain does not send a signal to your penis that you are excited by what you see, smell, taste, or touch, you will not get an erection. 
The erection does not send a message to the brain, you know. Well, I don't think that is medically correct. I don't that's my opinion. No, but okay, uh, let's not argue, but let's let's debate it. Your penis does stand up before you think about something. No, well, it depends on your brain, as I said. <laughs> well, there goes. Uh, you just answer my question. Your brain tells it everything. Well, that's where you're, this, that, that, that's why it is considered to be the largest sex organ in terms of what it could conjure up and what it could do. Your brain could be having, you, you could be having sex with your wife or your partner right now and thinking about Marilyn Monroe of the 60s, who's dead and gone. Isn't that okay, so? thank you. <laughs> All right. And she's dead and gone. Really she in another dimension. Family must be going to think about Marilyn. No, Marilyn. but it's a fact. Yeah, it is. It is a fact. Yeah, if we're talking in terms of area, mm -hmm. square foot or square square inches, it is the skin. No. Mm -hmm. That is the largest sex organ. Mm -hmm. The okay. skin. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Right. Right, you don't understand where the eyes go, the mind follow, you know. <laughs> Doctor? Yeah. You don't understand where the eyes go, the mind follow. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, and then there is a man, Doc. You see, those people, like that guy there, he's all right, right? You asked a good question, but hear what happened to him. His energy forecast is dead, okay? I wouldn't put it that way, but I... No, here I put it that way. You give him from roots to branches, to trunk, to leaves, right? Yeah. But here what they don't understand. You know what he knows, right? You don't know what he knows, but I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. But I don't think it was a debate like that, you know. I think no, he, no. He, was, he was trying to decipher if it is biologically true uh -huh. if it is something that is just made up but it's not something that is made up you see the brain we think about the brain as being this here mm -hmm. in this capacity here okay but that's not the brain you know the brain is a super 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 computer you know? so just as what you look at this this is an iphone mm -hmm. today i was explaining to some guys <clears throat> this morning that in this iPhone I have 20,000 pictures which I showed you the other day oh, yeah. 20,000 pictures photograph so one of them was blown away he said you have 20,000 pictures on your phone on that he said that's impossible I said I have a thousand five hundred videos movies on this phone and I have over 10,000 numbers stored on this phone and other information he said, well, how that is possible? I said, well, this is an iPhone 8 with a 256 gig memory. Mm -hmm. So you could hold that. To go on the moon took a computer as big as this room with less memory than this phone. Less memory? Less memory than this phone. The memory we have on a phone now. Yeah. Now I want, to, I want people to think, you know. The memory we have in this little device, the memory... The capacity, the CPU. In 1969, when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, the 20th of July, 1969, it was a computer the size of this room with less than 32,000, 32, 000, 32 um, bits of memory. Not 32 bits. 32 gigs, I think. No, it wasn't gigs, it was kilobytes or something. Mm -hmm. But it was small memory. To do that now today it is here now put this aside in your brain you could recall things from your childhood to now mm -hmm. yeah. you could recall mathematics when you did it in school physics chemistry biology sociology agri science accounting whatever you did the brain could do that the brain could recall a movie that it saw 20 years ago. The dialogue from the movie. But the capacity of the brain to conjure up things, the imagination that we have, all the invention that has happened in this world, including this, came from somebody's brain, you know, not from their hands. Mm -hmm. 
So if you talk about biologically, biologically, somebody made this. That's the biological part of it. But where did the thought of this came up? Not inside here. Oh, yeah. When those guys were creating companies and taking risk and doing the things that they were doing, nobody saw what they were seeing. Nobody. And that is part of business. A businessman who is successful see things that others cannot see. You, know? you could be living on a street. And one day you get up and your brain comes up. That, you know, I can make some money. I could be selling snow cone here and I could make some real serious money. And I could still go and do my night job because people only want snow cone during the day. Isn't that so? People don't suck snow cone in the night. You ever see a snow cone man selling snow cone in the night? No, no. Well, right. So you wake up now and you say, okay, let me, how did this make a snow cone? Now, if you have a smartphone like this, you just Google snow cone, how to make it, and it will come up and it will show you everything. But in your brain, you say, well, snow cone is shaver ice. Right, I have a shaver. Syrup. Syrup has sugar and a color. I can make that. And if I want a little flavor, I have a gofa in the backyard. I go put some gofa in it. I go find out from granny how to boil the gofa and make the juice. So you come up with an idea. And all of a sudden you start selling snow cone. And all the school children who pass in the evening come in by Mr. Junior to buy a snow cone. All the fellas who work in because they have a, a CPEP office up the road, just pass through that road. So when they come in on the road or they going up the road, they buy a snow cone. And all of a sudden I suck in a snow cone and I go up the road and a woman see me suck in a snow cone. She says, I want to suck a snow cone. Where you get a snow cone? Say by Junior. And your business booming. And somebody, man who live in the opposite, you know, saying, how do you ask you come up with that boy? How he know to make money so? I live in here long before he, he now come on the block and he making money, selling snow cone. And I never think about that. Yes, you never thought about it because your brain didn't go down that road. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is how successful business people come <clears> along. <throat> they think up of an idea. They invest their money and time and energy behind it. And they become successful because they pursue their thought. And their thought brings along more thought. Because all of a sudden you say, but wait a minute. My wife, you buy condensed milk here. Yeah, she has two cans. I wonder if I put condensed milk on this snow cone. How you go, go boy? They tell him a little extra dollar for, for condensed milk. Everybody say, I want condensed milk. Mm -hmm. I say, but if I make a smaller snow cone, I could charge them not half the price. I could charge them a little less. So the little school children could afford it. But I'll still be making profit. Yeah, because you're thinking of so you make a different size of yeah, snow cone. You're thinking of volume, yeah. You have a small snow cone, you have a medium snow cone, you have a large snow cone. The man who wants to suck large, he's sucking large. Mm -hmm. The one who wants to suck large, he's sucking large. That is why people are successful. It starts in the brain. It didn't start by you making a snow cone and then thinking about how I go make a dollar. So the chicken, which came first? The chicken or the egg? Mm -hmm. The thought came first. <laughs> and that is it in a nutshell. Anyway, folks, taking a return 21 minutes after 10 o'clock inside Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM. For those of you who might be joining us for the very first time, Sex Explosion is featured here every Thursday and Friday evening. On a Thursday, my brother, Magdari, he sits in with Dr. Raj from 7 until 9 o'clock. Then I come in on a Friday evening from 9 until 12. Well, we're going to take a break at 21 after 10. We will be right back with you. Use our own one down and say you win. You have this whole computer now. Well, I was asking you, I saw it off, so I was asking no, you. No, this is the messenger here. The messenger here now. But, see, they put some music here. Uh, you know what I'm telling you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Capri, and you're listening to Power 
systems all. Come and shop in AC Comfort, full engine full board, home decor, seat furniture, curtains on shades, garments, footwear, jewelry, and much more. We accept links and credit card, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Incredible India, located at the white tent behind KFC and Pizza Hut Laramie. Definitely closing on October 8th. Everything must sell. Want to get your products and services out to more customers? How about getting more people into your store? Does your brand need a boost in exposure? Then radio advertising on Power 102 is the solution you've been looking for. With packages tailored to your needs and a team to create the ideal radio ad, the choice is clear. Power 102, empowering you. So call us today at 6-Power, that's 627-6937, and ask to speak to a client advisor about your ideas and brand. We are Power 102, empowering you and your business today. Born out of the womb of struggle and rebellion, Calypso, the language of uprising and emancipation from the African slaves and the plantations. Calypso is a source of freedom. Calypso, from satirical and biting lyrics to the sometimes subtle political charge, political and social commentary. What? Me, um, me master card now. I know we'd hear a drop it. I will go and get that one. And of course, the music. The music. Yeah, she has the Mother of 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 the Mother the she live a, a, a full life, age, a full life, so it, it don't make sense. They were thinking in, they were thinking in terms of operating on her, but to operate on someone who has all signs, that don't make sense. At her age, how long she have suffering from all Well, it's only last week she had pneumonia and they went to clear it up. And when they went in, they saw she had cancer. Not only cancer, had Simon's. Oh, mommy, mom's. Four years now. That's why, I, that's why I didn't go up. Because my brother said, Junior, it don't make sense. Because he's in front of her and she's just watching up in the air. She don't know who is who? No, she don't know who is who. So. But you used to talk to her before? Yeah. But I haven't spoken to her in the last five years. Because she don't know me. I called her, we talk on the phone and she don't know. She don't know me. That's a, that is a hard pill to swallow, boy. I say, Mom, I even whistle like my father. And my sister say when she was there, she had on Skype. My sister say that she smiled. But that was it. When she heard the whistle. My father used to whistle. She said when she heard it, she smiled. But that was it. That was it. Yeah. The guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times we think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. Your largest the largest show that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. <coughs> sex explosion on Power 102. Empowering you. We're taking returns now 26 minutes after 10 o'clock inside Trinidad and Tobago number one longest nighttime running program, Sex Explosion, with your host Dr. Raj Ramdanan of Total Energy, the adult therapy centers in Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Well, yeah, and we're back inside. And, but before you go further, I want us to discuss, because I know 
a lot of people willing to hear what is happening with this new venture that you got into. Well, How is things going and what is the response that you're getting? Is it positive? It is mediocre? Well, I, I, I will tell you something, Junior. The response I'm getting is mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. It's not mediocre. I am pleasantly surprised at the amount of individuals who have invested, yeah. who have expressed an interest in investing, who have made promises of investing for various reasons, and who is following what I am doing. But I want to backtrack a bit and talk about the success that we're having with the legality of importing toys into Trinidad. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, this week, the courts only opened last week. This week we were successful in court where I got the green light to go ahead and sue customs. Where my lawyers are going the second step. Mm -hmm. And although it may take a little while, but I know the eventual outcome will be very positive. That I know. So by the end of next month, we would have something else to report. Of course, it's reported in, I think, in the Newsday and the Guardian of Thursday. It's reported there. Thursday or Wednesday? Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. Yeah. So you could read about it. And it's not something I'm making up. Because as it goes along, it's being played out in the public domain. It is play, being played out in the courts and it's being played out in the public domain. So my team of lawyers, they're doing very well with that. And I have to thank them very much mm -hmm. for that. Especially Mr. Taklan Singh, Mr. Jaldeo Singh, and Karina Singh. Secondly, the invitation that I sent out for individuals to invest in this company that I am setting up to build 10 stores in Trinidad and Tobago, the response from the public is tremendous. Tremendous. And even up to yesterday, I had two persons, um, Angela and Riaz, who... Uh -huh put full investment into the company. I'm not calling their last name, I want that for no, security for reasons, uh, but I'm, I'm mm -hmm. calling their names, and they know who they are. And the others who have made contribution, and the good thing about it is that you're not making contribution for something to develop. You're making contribution and becoming a shareholder of a business that is in operation as of the first week of me sending out this information out there in the public domain. So we already have a store that we bought. Last week, Sunday, I went and I looked at where the location of the second store would be. I spoke to the owner of the property on Tuesday yep. while I was overseas. We had a conversation and he has given me verbal authorization that um, he will be okay with us opening a second store there. We are developing the first store further because we have some internal works to do and we have the branding to do on the outside, which will lead to the opening of the store. I can't give a date yet, but we'll have a grand opening. After everything that I want put into it is placed into it. One thing I must say, we have an ongoing sale. Mm -hmm. the, on, the ongoing sale is, is going on, but we have new stocks. And you can still get discounts on your new stocks. So I'm inviting all the persons who are listening to the program to go to the store. And it's on the boulevard, Bamboo Number 3. It's called the boulevard. It's called the boulevard. That's the road that links Grand Bazaar to the southern, to the south highway, Sol Solomon Hochoy Highway. That part, part of the highway is called Solomon Hochoy. Mm -hmm. yep. So it is the link road that takes you back to the highway. The building is green. There's a glass top. There's a plant shop downstairs and there's a clothing store downstairs. Just go upstairs. It's formerly known as Joy Toys. Mm -hmm. But that name is, we'll be only using that name as of this week. Afterwards, we'll not be using that week, that, that name. So we're looking at persons who, of course, the, the, the investment is ongoing, you know. It doesn't close off, you know. So if you want to invest at the end of the year, early next year, you want to invest next month, you want to invest next week, or next two days is up to you, you know. Yeah, because you're thinking in terms of at least because 10 stores. 10 mm -hmm. stores over a five-year period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And that is what we're going at. So, everyone who invests now will get their dividends in a year time. 
those who invest later on, their year anniversary will come later on. Mm -hmm. Not together with those who have invested now. So the closer for those who are invested now to get back their 10% in on the first of October next year will be up to Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So okay. anyone who invests okay. up to Sunday, mm -hmm. they are getting their payment on the first of October 2019, their dividend, which is 10%, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. That one is guaranteed. 10%. After which, each year, the profit of the business would be shared to the shareholders. Mm -hmm. A certain portion of the profit yeah. will come off, and that is shared to each shareholder, based on the percentage of ownership of the, co of the company, which is shareholding. Mm -hmm. yeah. The percentage of shareholding in the company. Additionally, if the person wants to sell their share, because right now our share is being sold at $100, we expect that after one year, the value of the share will go to either uh, $105 to $112. We don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to go somewhere there, based on our projections and, and all these things that I've done. If you want to sell the shares back to the company, you can do so at the rate, but you still keep your dividend. It's not deducted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your dividend yeah. is your dividend. dividend. That's a guaranteed yeah. payment. That's a standard thing. That's standard. You could st sell back your share to the company. You could sell back your shares to the company at the going rate. Or you can leave it and watch it multiply. And we expect in five years it's going to double. Mm. Based on the projection of what we want to do in terms of developing the business model. And it is a business model. It is a sound business model. And it's one that is based on the success of Total Image. But it's not Total Image. This is a branded business that carries the name Dr. Raj Adult Boutique. Mm -hmm. It's a cousin of Total Image. Not a cousin. Not no, no. A cousin. It's using the model of Total Image. Okay, right. Okay, but that's a, okay. That's a different... Yeah. It has nothing no. to do with no, Total no. Image. It is using the success model of Total, of Total Image, Image to, create a, to new... create a new entity. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A new entity mm -hmm. that's called Dr. Raj. I'm, I'm branding it with my name so that persons will know that I am standing behind this. I am standing behind the investment. Mm -hmm. I am standing behind the success of the business. Mm -hmm. So that business entity will now be Dr. Raj Adult Boutique where persons can come there for everything that they need. Alternative life, lifestyle individuals, gay, homosexual, bisexual, whatever. Any item that you need, if you don't see it in the store, we can get it for you. Person who into BND, SNM, all the things that I talk about on the program today, mm -hmm. the things that goes with that, we have it there at the store. We have mm -hmm. a nice display of that. Excellent. Person who are into different fetishes, we have things for that. Persons who want to pump their vagina, their nipples, their penis, whatever. We have the kits for that. Pump kits. Persons who want supplement for a tryst or for energy or to build a libido and whatnot, we have things for that. So anything that you need, we have it there. Or we can get it for you. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of the store. And we are putting these stores at strategic location throughout Trinidad and Tobago so that at the end of the three-year period that we plan to build all these stores, a person can go into that store in their district with the satellite store. Let's say, for example, South, yeah. Deep South, Barakpo, Woodland, Separia, um, Debe, Pinal, Palmis, um, Apisa La Romaine, can all go to this store to get their stuff. Mm. And I will be visiting those stores at least twice a month to have to conduct my um, profession there as Dr. Raj so they could come in there and see me. So it's all tied in with what we want to do, the branding, all these things. And you'll be pleased to know one of the persons who have given a little job with this business. I wouldn't tell you yet. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. Okay, now, at uh, starting off, Let's say someone wants to get involved. Is there a, a cutoff? A cutoff 
the, how much they have to invest? What is the least? Ten thousand. Okay. What is the least? You Ten thousand is the least you can invest right now. Mm -hmm. And upwards of 10,000, so you could go 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 is the mm -hmm. cutoff. 100,000 is the cutoff. Maximum that we are allowing any one investor to put into. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. The control must be there to, for me to do what I want to do. Because again, it is not my hand and foot that is doing this, it's my brain. Mm -hmm. This is what I have here. It is my experiences. This is what I want the gentleman to understand. When I say the brain is the largest sex organ, that sex organ that you have here, this brain, yeah. is what conjures up this whole concept. Mm -hmm. This brain is the driving force behind it. This brain will make it work. Mm -hmm. The physical attributes, mm -hmm. the physical activity, is not coming from me. It's coming from my wonderful staff. And I do have wonderful staff. Well, I know that for a fact. And I'll tell you something. Persons who, well, every Saturday morning, I go there from 10 o'clock. So you could come there at 10 o'clock and meet me. 10, 10, 15, depending mm -hmm. on traffic, if there is traffic. One gentleman came and spent the entire Saturday morning with me, Saturday gone. And he he's a potential investor. He's an avid listener of the program. But the point is that anyone who wants to get involved in the adult business, have shareholding in the adult business, get dividend and watch your money grow, it is ideal for you. Oh, yeah. You don't have to mm -hmm. do anything physically. Yeah. All you have to do is provide the finances and watch what happens with it. And just sit back. Yeah. And the thing about it, that is a business, is your name that is involved. And once your name is involved... You know I'm going to go all out exactly. to build up because this exactly. is my baby. This is, mm -hmm. this is my, I think this is my final brainchild mm -hmm. in terms of business that I want to accomplish by the age of 60. This must be working mm -hmm. and people must be getting the benefits of it they must reap the rewards of my brain and that's how i put it my brain at work for you with your money mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so I, sense, I i that's why i throw the challenge at the beginning mm -hmm. anyone who has faith in me anyone who believe in me and one of the things i must say and i again it come back to those two persons who you would not think if you see them walk into this room, you will not think that they would have faith in me or that business enterprise had the greatest impact as far as the business is concerned. Nice to hear. We already have a business where the opening balance sheet was close to half a million dollars. Wow. The opening balance sheet. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And the balance sheet is balancing mm -hmm. way above that right now way above that well i could just visualize and this is less than a month less than a month junior yeah. i only talk about this two no, weeks now two weeks, yeah. three weeks ago is when i sent all the broadcast mm -hmm. two weeks ago mm -hmm. is when i started to talk about it in less than a month as a matter of fact the 15th of next month will make it a month so it's less than two weeks we already have a positive balance sheet which to me is mind-blowing to start a business and have a positive balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Because we have ownership of a business. We have a business that is operating. It started operating from day one. We have stocks coming in. I clear four large shipments. I want people to go there tomorrow and see. The, um, I want persons who were there over the last two weeks uh -huh. to go there tomorrow and see the amount of goods it has. They'll be blown away. I could just see right now we don't have the shelving for it mm -hmm. and as i told you i've hired someone to do that for me we don't even have the shelving for it hmm. I could just see but the potential for it is so great because of the response that we're getting for people in the area yeah. for persons who have told about it on the air and whatnot and from the old customers who are coming back and saying but oh, wait a minute something new something's happening here something different and they get in the sense that something is much different. That's why every Saturday morning I'm there to meet and greet with people. I leave there quarter to 12 to go back to my office to start seeing people. But I am there to meet and greet and talk and give them the ideas and let them see for themselves the physical development of what I'm doing. And you know, that's important eh? because I know anything you get involved with that you, I wholeheartedly will, get you, involved. Will, you show exactly what you're getting for your money. 
And what I'm going to do also, if things play off the way it's playing off right now and it is moving in the positive way it's going and the investors are coming in, I can tell you by the end of November, by the end of November, uh -huh. the store in South would open. Mm. That would be great. All I need is for the person who I want to rent the place from, the landlord, mm -hmm. to come to Trinidad for me to sign up the documents. Mm. That would be great. And because Let's I take know, a break because I need, no, to, I need yeah. to... Because I know a lot of people in the South is waiting, can't oh, anticipate yes. the way. Um, that one, I, I, I am looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that, that, I know the amount of listeners we have in Barakpo oh, alone. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of listeners we have in Barakpo alone, mm -hmm. that store will not be big enough. Mm -hmm. I know that. I agree with that. I know there's a wide And I don't need Barakpo, eh? I am not talking about Separia. I'm not talking about oh, Pinal, San Francisco, hmm. Debe, and all those areas around the woodland. Mm. I'm not even talking mm. about that. No, because a lot of people, and I mean, we have experienced this while doing programs. A lot of people are interested in getting products and they don't know where to go or there's no place available nearby. So what I'm asking persons to do is just put in, if, if you want to start at the bottom, mm -hmm. just put in $10,000 TT mm -hmm. and you get 100 shares. So each share is worth $100. Mm -hmm. right. So your shareholding is 100 shares of the company. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 17 minutes before 11 o'clock, inside Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM with the sexologist Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start your weekends with Sir Charles and Calypso Classics. Saturday mornings, 7 to 9 a.m. Calypso Classics. Enjoy classics from all the ways of Calypso, Sparrow, Stalin, Kitchener, Brother, Shadow, Calypso Rose, and many more Calypso classics with Sir Charles. All the Calypso ways, Saturday mornings, 7 to 9 a.m. and only on Power 102. The Power of Calypso. Incredible India, located at the White Temple behind KFC and Pizza Hut Laramie. Final extension, definitely closing on Monday, October 8th, once a year only. Get up to 80% off. Come and shop in AC Comfort, full Indian food court, home decor, tape furniture, curtains and shades, garments, footwear, jewelry and much more. We accept wings and color card, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Incredible India, located at the White Temple behind KFC and Pizza Hut Laramie. Definitely closing on October 8th. All inclusive Saturdays on Power 102 FM. Yo, this is Marshall Montana on Power 102 FM. With the best music and personalities to power your day. All day on a Saturday. Sir Charles, Chris, DJ Maggie, Kaylan, and the ultimate DJ Shane. This is Capri, and you're listening to Power 102. All inclusive Saturdays on Power 102 FM. a.m. to 10 p.m. all day on a Saturday on Power 102. Empowering you. Want to get your products and services out to more customers? How about getting more people into your store? Does your brand need a boost in exposure? Then radio advertising on Power 102 is the solution you've been looking for. With packages tailored to your needs and a team to create the ideal radio ad, the choice is clear. Power 102, empowering you. So call us today at 6-2-POWER, that's 627-6937, and ask to speak to a client advisor about your ideas and brand. We are Power 102, empowering you and your business today. Calypso. Hold on, it's Matilda. Believe me, friends, it's Matilda. Hold out of the womb 
of struggle and rebellion, Calypso, a language of uprising and emancipation from the African slaves on the plantations. Calypso is a sense of freedom and revolt. Calypso, from satirical and biting lyrics to the sometimes subtle dialogue tongue, political and social commentary. <laughs> He could sing the next track. The, the next track. Song. He could do the next track. What next track? The next track for the store. He sings. Trinidad and Tobago. We're ready. Very complete in between. And moving forward as one. Yeah, he complete in between. We're one people. One nation. He like them kind of thing. Huh? This together. He like them kind of thing. Huh? Oh, wait, yeah. He skilled that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was always that kind of. Join veteran journalist Andy Johnson every Sunday for Impact TNT. Impact TNT. As he explores and investigates the big issues in Trinidad, Tobago, and the region. Impact TNT. Exploring the issues impacting you. With the big cities in politics, sports, academia, and current affairs. Every Sunday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon with journalist Andy Johnson. And your input via calls, messages, and the Power 102 app. Impact TNT. 10 a.m. to 12 noon this and every Sunday on Power 102 FM. Sexplosion is on Power 102 and now on new days and at new times. The country's most informative sex education program, Sexplosion, is on every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 9 p.m. to midnight with Dr. Rad Ramanan, the guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times you think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sexplosion on Power 102. Empowering you. Thanks a lot, Stanley. Taking your time to follow minutes before 11 o'clock. I tell you, nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education. And just may I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM with the only sex knowledgeist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Randonen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center out of St. Augustine. Our lines are open for those of you who would love to question him. Maybe you have something that's bothering you on your mind sexually and you need to get an answer. Well, all you've got to do is give him a call at 2228255, also at 6128255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. Yeah, so we're back on track, and um, I want to hear more about this thing. I mean, this is very interesting. This uh, Well, what, not to leave Total Image out of it, thing, but mm -hmm. the loyal clients that we have at Total Image yeah. are clients of Total Image. Mm -hmm. They would still go to Total Image, and of course, Total Image has a wide variety of stuff and whatnot, so... Excluding Total Image, uh -huh. but not excluding the clients of Total Image because some of them do go to the new store also. Mm -hmm. So they're back and forth yeah. because some of the items we carry in there, we will not, we will not carry. It. Some of the items that we carry in at the new store, we will not carry it at Total Image mm -hmm. because the design of the place is different mm -hmm. and the theme there is much different. So all your Halloween stuff and thing will be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So people want their costume yeah. and whatnot mm -hmm. will be there. It would not be a total image. I could just imagine what those costumes. So all the costumes and all those things, for persons who want those things, it will be, be there. Available. And we'll start that campaign when October comes around. Mm. The second week in October is when we'll start that campaign for Halloween because apparently ha Halloween is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Right? Especially, mm -hmm. especially for people who are involved in the, the enjoyment of life mm -hmm. in whatever yeah. way. But... The investment part of it is, you know, five of my major investors have not even gone to the store, have not seen the store. Mm -hmm. When I tell them, you, did you go and see the store? No, I don't need to see the store. I say, well, why? Well, it's a lot of why do you believe what I just say? And they say, no, it's you. No, they have I say, no. I say, wait, wait. Go and at least see the store. You have to buy nothing. You know, go and see the store because mm -hmm. you are a shareholder in the company that owns the store. No, I don't need to see that. 
is you. So that was that blew me away. No? Because I will always question if there was loyal people out there to Raj, Dr. Raj. I always question that because I know how fickle-minded we could be. Mm -hmm. I know I could be on the air today, come off the air tomorrow, and I'm a non-entity the following day. I know that. I don't fool myself that I think that I am that important that people are going to remember me for the rest of their lives. I, I don't think so. Of course, my patients would because they know what I do for them. Right. Yeah. Of course, those who listen to the program and get education from it will always remember that there was a Dr. Raj educating them about sex and whatnot. But I don't take it for granted that everyone would be like that. But when five of the persons who have invested handsomely in terms of investment did not go and even see the store, I'm like, okay, what am I doing right or wrong here? Mm. And then I suddenly realized that it was because of the faith that they have in me. And that is what was mind-blowing to me here because it's one thing to think that you are important. It's another thing for people to show you that you are important. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And that is a very humbling experience. As a matter of fact, the last investor who I saw yesterday, I actually was at a loss in trying to, to reconcile mm -hmm. how this person just could just come out of the blue, knows nothing about me except what she hears on the radio and is willing to put an investment into something that I want to do. That is what you say, that you have confidence in someone who is... I well, mean, that woman has showed me that. Mm -hmm. The gentleman also who was there earlier in the morning. Yeah. Same thing. But I, I was in contact with him for about a week. This lady mm -hmm. called me. Just like that. Out of the blues. Mm -hmm. And she told me she was coming the following day to see me. Only to call me two hours after and say, Dr. Raj, I have the check in my hand. Can I come and bring it for you? And I was like, okay, no problem. What time you will be here? I'll send a driver to pick you up if you don't know how to come in. I, I still was in doubt. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the person came and sat in front of me and did what she have to do. I gave her receipts and all that and I said, okay, this is what it's about. Um, the share certificate will be allocated to you. You'll get your certificate in hand. Those who have this certificate, those who will get this certificate, of course, it's something that if you die, you could pass it on to okay. your next, estate, of kin. next of kin. Mm -hmm. But you cannot sell it to someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You cannot sell it to someone else. It has to be sold back to the company because we know the value of it. Mm. And you get the premium price from the company. Whereas if you sell it to Sounds someone great. else, they yeah. will just want to buy the face value. Yeah. But to me, the shares are important to the investors. What I want to impress on the investors is look at what is happening physically. Take a look. Visit the store. Those who were there before, those who were there for the soft opening two Saturdays ago. It's only two Saturdays ago. Tomorrow we'll make it the third Saturday since we opened. So it's only two weeks two that weeks has gone. Ago, yeah. <clears throat> Go there tomorrow and see the level of inventory that we have now. See the type of inventory that we have. See some of the subtle changes that are taking place. And the major change will take place in the next two weeks. Mm. The branding and all that, what we want to put inside, introducing the massaging and all those things. We you introduce know, the massaging there too, you know. I could just visualize this, eh? and I think we have come to a time in this country, Trinidad and Tobago, I think we're ready for something like that. Well, I think so too, because I would like people from Barakpur, Princess Town, all the areas that you really don't find persons having that, that um, accessibility to, mm -hmm. have that accessibility. Mm -hmm. Where they could access Dr. Raj easily. Where they could access Dr. Raj, the products that we sell easily. That's why in the beginning of the program, the first one of the program, when we were talking about BND, SNM, and whatnot, yep. you think a person who living in those rural areas don't have the same thought, don't have the same feeling, don't think that it is an east-west corridor or a west Trinidad sort of thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. The things that we talk about here is practical for all of Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and the world, you know. 
Yeah, I think the it, entire yeah. planet Earth mm -hmm. could relate to all the things that I'm saying, you know. But I make it as local as possible because when I'm talking about Trinidad and I talk about dollar wine and those things, that is that is that has to do with Trinidad and Tobago. We could relate to that, right? But the wider public out there, the worldwide persons who are watching us on Facebook and whatnot, they can also relate to the things that we are talking about sexually and what the impact the mind has on it. Mm -hmm. The impact television and, and, and movies have on it, music, and those things have on that. But I want to make sure that no matter what part of Trinidad and Tobago you live, there will be a store to service you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's I important. want to make sure of that because after the stresses of life, mm -hmm. of your job, of doing things, you want to relax. You want to spend time with your loved one. You want to do things. You want to last longer. You want to have a better erection. Women want to make sure that they're not dry when they're having intercourse. Mm -hmm. They must get all the lubes. We have the full range of lube at the store. Full range of the Swiss Navy lube. lube. All the Swiss Navy things that I talk about. Yeah. The natural lube, the water lube, the water-based lube, the silicone-based lube. We have that. All the items from Swiss Navy, you can find it there. So it is what I am doing to make sure that persons, no matter where you are in Trinidad, that when you step into that store, now the store at Grand Bazaar, yeah. not in Grand Bazaar, I want people no. to get that clear. Outside of Grand, Outside of Grand Bazaar. Yeah. So we're using the Grand Bazaar as a, a landmark. Line, line, yeah. Although right now we have an influx of inventory that has come in, there's still more inventory coming in. Still more and more and more because I ain't finishing there yet. Because when I done with that place, it must be the showpiece. I could just imagine. Yeah. It must be the showpiece mm -hmm. of what an adult store must look like in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. I can just imagine. And I have the backings of all my suppliers out there. Mm -hmm. Because when they see what I want to do, I was in my I was as I told you I was in Miami Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? And I had meetings with some of them. I told them of my vision and whatnot. And they said, we're going to back you all the way. Behind you and nobody could be the price. Mm -hmm. I could tell you that. And you could still get a discount. Mm -hmm. Every individual who goes to those stores could get a discount because the girls have that in them. I have made sure that they know that they could give a discount. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I have a very good staff. Mm -hmm. And I must say thanks to them. So you, they, are more, they are properly trained by you. They are properly trained. They came. They, they came from total limit training. Mm -hmm. um, they understand that when people come, what they are supposed to do. How they approach them. They approach and also to leave you alone for you to mm -hmm. see and feel comfortable. And at feel the same comfortable time. that you're not being rushed out of the store. Mm -hmm. There's a place for you to sit if you want to sit and talk with the young lady. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just don't waste their time. Mm -hmm. Because once you're talking about products and whatnot, they don't, don't try to sit with them to make a line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, small that's talk. not what it's about. No small it's talk. It's not small talk. It's about the business yeah. and it's about the products and it's about helping you. Mm -hmm. That's what it is about. Even when I go there on a Saturday morning, I just sit on one of those nice re recliners that it have there mm -hmm. and have a nice conversation with whoever is there. Oh, recliners too. Yeah. Oh, comfortable. Comfortable, very comfortable. Don't fall asleep though. <laughs> <laughs> because we'll have to cover you with a lovely cover. There's, there's the lovely nice covers on the, the recliners. You know, you I can up, tell. You I can, can, you can cover up and sleep, you know. <laughs> I can't wait, you know, and I'm telling you, I cannot wait for the the grand opening of this store. Because yes, well, the grand opening is coming. I cannot even pinpoint a date because mm -hmm. I don't want to pinpoint a date and put a rush on myself. No. Well, I know you take... I'm you, taking you my yourself, time to do yourself. what I want to do. And to get all the things that I need. Mm -hmm. And once I have those things, then I'm going to say the grand opening is going to be on so-and-so day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just imagine? Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking your time, it's now 11 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Ranj Ramnanam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center out at St. Augustine. Folks, don't forget our lines are open for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone. Feel free. 2228255. Also at 6128255. For those of you sending in your WhatsApp or your text messages, 
You can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power102fm. This program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. So those who are invested up to Sunday, Sunday yeah. they are guaranteed to be paid their dividends on the 1st of October. 2019, 20, which is 10% of your investment. That's not bad. That's your dividend. You're getting back 10% on your investment. And Guaranteed. The, and for those of you who would love to, there's a cutoff date for this investment, which is on San, which is Sunday. Sunday. But so. that is for getting back your dividends. You can continue to invest after that. Yeah. But after that, it is on the anniversary that you of the no, the anniversary of the business yeah. when the um, shares. Are being dividends are being given out. Okay. Yeah. Well, on the anniversary. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The anniversary of the business. No. Mm -hmm. A registration anniversary. Registration. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. According to accounting procedure. Mm -hmm. So we have persons who are who have expressed their interests, who are continuing to invest, who have um, made promises to invest because so they have even had foreigners investing. Mm -hmm. So. I could definitely, no, I, I mean, seriously speaking, I know we here in Trinidad and Tobago have been longing for something like this, where you can go into an adult store and... Of and international see, standard. Of, yeah, and see items that you always wondered I could have never gotten here in my own country. Because some people, when they go to travel, they go on vacation, they will pick up the odd thing. Correct, correct. But whereas you could go there and get him. it. Yeah, and if, it. Like, let's say you have a bachelorette party coming up, and you want all the items for it. You could go mm -hmm. on the catalog, order all the items, make your down payment, and it comes in. Exactly. And that's what we're mm -hmm. catering for. Those who want specialty items, mm -hmm. items for your party, items. I, there are even persons who are coming there now or calling me to make appearances mm -hmm. at different functions. Mm -hmm. They want to jump out and no cake, though. Well, if they want me to jump out of a cake, I'll find out from you how it is done. Because I know you have done that already. So I'll have to find out from you how so to do want, it. So if they want you to jump out of it, you'll be re-offing that. Well, yeah. I know a song from um, Amar Akbar and Tony that you could sing jumping out of a cake. Jump. Because yeah, the character Anthony, which was played by Amita Bachchan, he came out of a cake and he sang uh -huh. a song. Well, there you go. Because so you I could do that. You could even organize that. You could even organize a cake where somebody could pop out of it, especially if you're having these private parties. Well, as I say, my name is Antonio Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything dealing with sex, there is no barrier at all. No, um, I I think that for human beings, mm -hmm. sex is such a wonderful thing. It is. It transcends everything else. Once you have a partner, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. As long as both of you are having a good time yeah, and, and you're not forcing anyone to do anything, no. you can enjoy yourself to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if you're teething a chance, that's a different story. That's a different story. Yeah, if you're but even if you're teething a chance, there are things that you can do with your partner that could be mind blowing for both of you. Mm -hmm. After doing those things, you're willing to teeth another chance. Of course, you want to teeth another chance. <laughs> Yeah, you believe too. Sometimes you teeth a chance with a quickie when quickie is not your thing. Mm -hmm. But you enjoy it so much you want another quickie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that so? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. A quickie is a, a quickie is a quick thing. Or not? A quickie is a nice thing, it's a quick thing, it's a nice thing, and it is stealing a chance. And the thing about Most it, of the time when you're not quickies because you're stealing a chance with somebody yeah. else. And the thing about it is that you have beautiful memories for the rest of the day or what uh, well, as long as you remember you have a beautiful memory. Yeah. The minute you finish, because you don't have no time to sleep. No, 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 you just, you, know, you just, when you, these you enjoy, you enjoy it. Yeah, it's not like the other. But thing. the only thing with B and the S and M, you can't be a quick here. You cannot. There's no quick here B and the S and M. You have that to prepare. Not. It's oh. a mental thing. It's a mental preparation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be in the moment, in the groove, mm -hmm. to start enjoying. And the more you get involved in it, the mm -hmm. more you evolve. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a person. Mm -hmm. So you may start off with some light stuff, mm -hmm. because today we got the silk rope something. Silk, oh yeah. Yeah, so that there's no bruising of the wrist and all that. What about the handcuffs? With oh, the we have the handcuffs with the furry handcuffs. handcuffs. They call them furry handcuffs. handcuffs. Yeah. We have all the furry handcuffs. We have it. We have it. Mm -hmm. We have it. This is a nice. We thing. have the leg spreaders. 
I never heard of that. I don't want to sound like a clown, yeah. But no, a leg know, spreader is a, a device yeah. that is stiff. It's about 27 to 30, 38 inches long, uh -huh. wider. I have two handcuffs with two foot cuffs, and you cuff it at the ankle so the leg cannot close. So you could do what you want with wow. the hoo ha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you finish it, it's called a leg spreader. A leg spreader. I never heard about you know, I don't want to sound very no, 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 no. I, I, I'm sure you but may have never heard, I never, I never heard it. I never heard it. Yeah, we because have gotten different whips mm -hmm. and chains and handcuffs and clips and different devices and things to. We have the running wheel. There's a running wheel with spikes on it, you know. To running. pass on the person back, yeah, the running wheel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we, ha we have the in in implements and we have the items. Mm. You speak in terms of uh, different whips that you can use. Yeah, we're riding cop. No, you have one that, uh, I mean, you have one that is not as intense or are there different levels of whips? They have different levels of whip. It's not as intense. It Some of them make a loud sound but it doesn't hurt because some people might say you know i like i want to try this yeah okay we have you have whipping leather mm -hmm. you have whipping rubber you have whips that are made out of cloth okay so you have different things well, because somebody who might just want to get no, into well, you you, you, say, you well, just look, want the sensation but yeah. you don't want the pain right yeah of There's course somebody saying well look you know i'm hearing dr rad speaking about this snm and i want to try but I do want to go to that extreme. I would well, like a lighter. If you not, if you go to the store, there, the young lady who is there, she's versed in it. Mm -hmm. I could tell you that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you could just ask her about so it. So like those long time skills with the pong, she can tell you how light you want to go and how heavy you want to go. You could do that too. You know, you remember those skills, right? Mm. But this is nice to know because somebody might be listening and say, you know, Dr. Raj is speaking about s &M, but I don't think I could take that straight. Right, you don't want, high. no, but as I, as, as I was explaining, as you go into your your fetish, let's mm -hmm. say the BND s and &M, you may want to expand your horizon. Mm -hmm. You may want to go one step up, two steps up, three steps up. Yeah. That's why a store of that nature, you start with the basic and then you work your way up. Mm -hmm. yeah. We mm -hmm. have the kit, the small kit to start with, you know. We have a small starter kit, you know, with the blindfold and them kind of thing, you know. So what? This, so you buy a kit. What this kit comes? The, the this items kit? that you need to start: a light whip, a very light whip where so you're feeling no pain at all. So it's a beginner's, a beginner's, a beginner's kit. A beginner's kit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have all these different items that you could use to stimulate yourself or to get introduced to it properly. Because when you're speaking in terms of beginner's kit, you know, you might you and your partner might want to try this for the first time and then when you get involved with the beginner's kit you find that it, it is so nice you'll want to go that little extra and as and you, you graduate up. and move up we have the different instrument mm. we have the different things that you can get we have catalogs that you can look at as a matter of fact one of the leg spreaders that we bring which is a heavy duty leg spreader an ex well, a very expensive one mm -hmm. was specially ordered by someone mm. Specially ordered. Mm -hmm. Person came, went through the catalog and said, I want that one. Mm -hmm. I say, You sure you want that one? That's the most expensive one. He said, I want that one. Mm -hmm. Another thing that is on the upswing here in Trinidad and Tobago, as far as where sex is concerned, I notice a lot of people is asking or getting involved with dolls. Well, Do that's we another thing. We now start getting some of the dolls. We have about four or five varieties there. Mm -hmm. There are much more to come. Pumps of all different types. And that's another thing. We have that, pumps. Uh, we have the supplements to go with the pumps. We have the lubes. We have the vasodilating cream. We have everything that goes with the pump there. Mm -hmm. So you could go there and get a complete kit put together for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was the next thing I was about to ask you. Someone comes into the store and they said they want a kit put together. They explain to you exactly what they are. All the girls could do. I, do, I don't have to be there. Yeah. And if they want any information, they can reach me anywhere, anytime, anywhere in the world. Yeah. They so, could call me and I will tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. They have access to me. So for a, a person could walk on the street and say, look boy, excuse me miss, I know we're starting off in this thing and I want to get a kit put together, but I don't want it for beginners. They could just sit down and... And they could tell them, them their budget too. And tell them exactly... Tell them their budget, your budget with which you want to work with. Yeah. 
five hundred, a thousand, whatever. And they put and they put together a kit for you. That's great. Based on your budget. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's excellent. Yeah. So it is a more personalized service. Mm -hmm. That's why the design of the store is much different. The design of the store is for that personalized service, where you come there, and you get that one-on-one -on -one with the person. And that's important, eh? especially service. And I know you don't, I know you don't come around with that at all. I know, I know for a fact you're very serious about it. I am always serious about service. I know your service. staff, and they are all. I can, I mean, I've if you been if to you totally falter by me with service. Mm -hmm. You're terminated. I've been to. to no, I'm telling you, you're terminated. I must if I get a complaint from the public mm -hmm. about a staff member when it comes to service, greetings, and mm -hmm. those things, you're terminated. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact because I've been to Total Image a couple of times, and I must say, the girls there are, are really, really professional. Mm -hmm. I, I hope they go because sometimes I stand there waiting for you. You have somebody, a, a patient inside there, and I see people coming in. And how they and interact I with the people. And I play a looking at one of those vaginas on the wall there. Well, times. I know you must look at the vaginas. <laughs> eh? so, oh, that's um, another thing. We, we have just gotten all the flashlights and all the different masturbatory items for men. Mm -hmm. And we will be catering a lot for men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gay and straight. Gay and straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. now this is, Especially so, with the flashlight. So basically, what you are saying is anything that you can think of where, as far as where sex is concerned, it will be available. Correct. It will be what you will call a super sex store. As, mm -hmm. yeah. I could just see, I mean, I could the sex store where you go to get the stuff that you want. Mm -hmm. That you want. Yeah, some can, sex store. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine. Some adult store. I, let me stop using the word sex store yeah, because adult, you don't go there for no, sex. No, no. Adult store. That's some adult thing. store carry items that they're limited to. Mm -hmm. And they have no means of getting you what you want. As we do a total image, where persons could come in, choose something from the catalog, make a small down payment of $100, and the item is brought for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a commitment. That shows a commitment. Mm -hmm. That yes, I really want this. I'm paying down $100. Mm -hmm. Right? If I do come back for it, you forfeit your $100. If you come back for it, it is applied towards your bill. Mm -hmm. We'll that's give you an idea of the price. Yeah, that's great. That's excellent. We'll give you an idea of the price. Hmm. Anyway, folks, taking your time. It's now 15 minutes after 11 o'clock. Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the Guru of Sex Education, Dr. Ryan's Brandon, and all total image and the adult therapy center of St. Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions. Tell me what we are going to do is take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. There are two items that to remind the listeners that we got. Mm -hmm. Two exclusive items to us. Eh? You can only Beautiful. get it at Total Limit or this the, well, uh, well, the new store. Have, I will talk to you, man. Incredible India, located at the white tent behind KFC and Pizza Hut now remaining. Final extension, definitely closing on Monday, October 8th, once a year only. Get up to 80% off. Come and shop in AC Comfort, full Indian food court, home decor, yeah, team furniture, curtains okay, and shades, garments, footwear, jewelry and much more. We have set rates and credit card, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Incredible India, located at the white tent behind KFC and Pizza Hut now remaining. Definitely closing on October 8th. Myself. Start your weekends with Sir Charles and Calypso Classics. Saturday mornings, 7 to 9 a.m. Calypso Classics. Enjoy classics from all the greats of Calypso, Sparrow, Stalin, Kitchener, Roger, Shadow, Calypso Rose, and many more Calypso Classics with Sir Charles. Here they put up some here, man. Sorry, songs. Gospel. The gospel program going good, aren't it? Huh? It's going very, very good. Very, very good. I didn't realize so much people into gospel music. It's going really good. Getting a nice feedback. But you see, the thing about it is, they would put in music, but that will stay for a while. But you see, when I'm doing revising, is every day music, new music coming out, eh? True. And then you, you, you become, wait, you and then you become more versed than that. Yeah, you have to be... Yeah, be on the board. But they put down some nice tracks. Tracks that I compared to what it was before. It's nice, nice, nice gospel music. 
Who chose the music? Well, I had given a list. So they must have took some out of it. But it's good. I could use some of those. Saturdays from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. all day on a Saturday on Power 102. Empowering you. Want to get your products and services out to more customers? How about getting more people into your store? Does your brand need a boost in exposure? Are we for, um, then radio advertising on Calypso Power 102 is the start. solution you've been looking for. With packages tailored to your needs to and a team them. to create the ideal radio ad, the choice is clear. Good, for my needy So like a threat? No, here now, have some Calypso there to drop. Brother Hadid, that's one thing, I ain't have all that, I ain't went to college and think, but you see, Tracy has even come into music. The brother is a Hadid, like my Facebook page, everybody say, but Junior, I really pull their music from boy. I say, boy, you have to sit down and listen to music. You have to listen. Once you enter music, you have to listen. And you have to listen to all style of music. Calypso says songs of freedom and revolt. Calypso from satirical and biting. This is a nice blend of keyboard. I don't know why. I don't know if it's hot or the case, so the right mix. <laughs> From 7 to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 9 p.m. to midnight with Dr. Raj Ramanan, the guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times we think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sex Explosion on Power 102, empowering you. We're taking our time, it's now 20 minutes after 11 o'clock. Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM this Friday evening mm -hmm. with the Guru of Sex Education, Dr. Raj Ramdanen of Total Image and Fame Down Therapy Center of St. Augustine, where he do treats all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Well, you. Somebody asked the question, what about parking there? And that's one of the things that is driving me to open the stores at the right location. There's ample parking. As soon as you pass the building, there's place for about five, maybe about six vehicles to park. Mm -hmm. Just after you pass the building, you can park over the road. You can park on the side before the building, on the side of the street, mm -hmm. before yeah. the building. So there's ample parking for about 10, 12 vehicles at any one time. That's not bad. That's not bad. At any one time, there's ample parking for individuals to park and go to the store and be safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's, that's great. But um, As a matter of fact, when you're upstairs, you could look at your vehicle downstairs. Okay. The only thing you have to do is climb a, a, a flight of stairs to get up to the top, mm -hmm. to the business. That's not, that's it's not. upstairs, it's not downstairs. Mm -hmm. Downstairs, there's a clothing store and there's a plant shop. Mm -hmm. Upstairs is where the businesses are. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that two things that you wanted to mention 
Oh, there are two exclusive items to Total Image. One is called the Sex Drops. The Sex Drops. Now, you know before people used to talk about Spanish Fly. Now, we have Spanish Fly also, liquid. Mm -hmm. But the Sex Drops is something that you and your partner could use to enhance your sexual feelings. Mm. We also have Rush, mm -hmm. which is a nitrate that you sniff when you're having intercourse to intensify your feelings when it comes to sex. So you could make sex much more exciting, mm. providing you have a good heart and you have good health. Yeah, but of yeah. <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. But the sex drop is something that you can use in a juice or water for your partner yeah. to give them that enhanced mm -hmm. sexual right. feeling. Right. And yeah. of course, the good old EE, mm -hmm. the number one booster in the world, mm -hmm. sexual booster, only Dr. Raj have that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have it rebranded with my name mm, before okay. the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Beautiful. The EE. Everybody know the EE, the erectile mm -hmm. enhancer. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to have it branded at the end of the year with my name. So we can, people who are looking for things of sexual nature. Anything so of a sexual nature for you to have a better sex, sex. life, yeah, yeah. you can get it there. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I know a lot of people. That's where you get your stuff for a better sex life. No, because from time to time, a lot of people like bounce up. They say, family, where I could get this? Where I could get that? Where I could go? Just go to, to uh, that Total Image. Go to the adult boutique. Mm -hmm. Well, That's you could go to Total Image, of course, because yeah. Total Image will be Total Image. Hey, what, well, yeah, That's right? a pioneer business. Yeah, that's it's there in St. Augustine. Yeah. That's where I am. Mm -hmm. And we have our loyal um, clientele. clientele. As a matter of fact, people keep dropping in there every single day. But the business that is being branded and developed throughout Trinidad and Tobago, That's, um, go to the one at Grand Bazaar Grand to Bazaar. see the vision. Look at mm -hmm. it now. And when we have the grand opening, mm -hmm. I will announce the grand opening on the air. And if you want to come to the special reception that we're having, mm -hmm. just, send a, just give me a, a holler. And tell me, Raj, I'd like to come. No, that that would be that would be great. That would be great because, and inviting people to an opening, you know, like the same in Trinidad and Tobago, a Trini only have received something once, and the whole of Trinidad is no. Especially when you're thinking something of sexual nature, so you can look forward to that. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 25 minutes after 11 o'clock. Nobody does better what we do best, taking sex education where it has never been before. This program, however, may contain material that is not suitable for children, parental guidance, or therefore advised. You are listening to Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Feel free to interact with him at 25 minutes after 11 o'clock in studio. Two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or you have a question that you want answered, but you don't want to hear yourself on air, you can also send it to his private line seven four zero one nine six one. Before you take that call, I want to say sitar to my cousin Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the greetings, and same greeting goes out to you and your family. Hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thank you for holding. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Hello, good evening. Oh, for that look like he had a little rock up. <laughs> yeah. And somebody you. asked about the investment again, and I'm going to say it again. I am inviting persons to become a shareholder in the company. Mm -hmm. This company is exclusive of Total Image. It will be the adult stores, the adult boutique. Dr. Raj's Adult Boutique. The first one is already open at Grand Bazaar. And I say at Grand Bazaar, it's on the boulevard, Bamboo number three, the road that connects you back to the highway to go south. Mm -hmm. So after you pass Grand Bazaar, the roundabout there, you continue straight, you pass all the eating place and the first building there on the left hand side, upstairs is the place. Persons can invest 10,000 or upwards of 10,000 up to $100,000. It's a hundred dollars a share. So if you invest ten thousand, you get a hundred shares. Mm -hmm. Right. Dividends, guaranteed dividends, <coughs> would be paid at the end of one year for those who are investing up to Sunday of ten percent. Take that mm -hmm. call. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. 
Hi. Yes, good evening. Um, what? I didn't hear you on the... Uh, could you repeat that? I said, it is still a change back. I mean, it's a fun. It's a fun thing. Can't be good what he's saying there at all. Um, you, either, you, either the phone is too close to your mouth. We hear you a little better now. For what? What you have to use for what? Diabetes? For your arteries? We have something called the artery cleanser. Something to clean out your arteries. We have something called the artery cleanser. You could call 6459829 or 6454543. That's the office in St. Augustine. And they have it there right now. Well, they're closed now, but you could call in the morning from 8 o'clock. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot for calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those are all the items we'll be carrying at all the stores mm -hmm. also. They don't have the artery cleanser and thing there yet because we haven't gotten that stock for there. Um, but yes, we do carry a variety of items for persons because you have to understand sex has to do with circulation. It has to do with the proper balance of cholesterol in your body. If you have diabetes and hypertension, it's going to affect the quality of your erection and the quality of your sexual life. So you've got to have those things at optimum to, to, um, to, to be able to have sex at, it, at your best. That's important too, because when you're having sex, you want to be 100% satisfied. You want to be satisfied. Yeah, you don't want to say, you know. If you're not satisfied, you will not have the, the drive or the libido to do it again. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you just decide to do it again just to see if everything okay, but you're not 100% into it. No. But you want to enjoy sex. Sex is something that is very enjoyable. So you want to be able to engage in sexual intercourse with your partner, despite the fact that you may have some challenges, and enjoy it fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Total enjoyment. You want, you want to know after that enjoyment, you're looking forward to the next session, as they would say. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. You are looking forward to the next session. You want to be able to enjoy it fully. But I'm still, you know, I'm still amazed. I cannot wait to see what these stores, these brand stores of yours would have. Because I cannot think of anything that people use sexually that wouldn't be available in that store. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the challenge that, that I, I have. And I know you as an individual. I want to make sure with all these stores, these branded stores throughout Trinidad and Tobago, and the shareholders are happy. Mm -hmm. The shareholders of these branded stores, persons who have put in their investment in the business of $10,000, $20,000 or whatever, up to $100,000, that they must be satisfied that, hey, I am seeing these stores being developed. I know the brand is out there, so we are doing something. Yeah, that's a... mm -hmm. We are doing something. The investment is working for them. Mm -hmm. But it is not only an investment and the investors. It is also the clients of these businesses. That's important. Mm -hmm. They must be delighted every time they come to the store. Mm -hmm. They must feel that when they come to the store, it is not the same thing over and over and over. They are new stock. Things are There's something changing, different. Tumbling, tumbling. Correct. Mm -hmm. So the, the, it's an adventure to go to the store every time you go. You will mm -hmm. see what I didn't see this here the last time. Hey, this is something new. Yeah. I didn't think that they have this. See, because you will keep the interest in the sense that they're thinking in terms of any time they come, they're going to see something new. But I'll tell you something. You know what this reminds me of so much what? as far as where you are concerned. You know, you had this dream of being a sextologist so many years ago. Now, what you're doing, you're, you're introducing sex shops in Trinidad and Tobago, which nobody ever really thought about well the adult stores but the adult, and, and, oh, yeah, and the we're adult developing stores, in actually. such a way that it's a boutique yeah. anybody could go in there persons who enjoy the alternative life lifestyle mm -hmm. persons who are into different fetishes they can go there and feel comfortable i don't want anybody laughing at you if you go there and, and say here what i want an upside down come down mm -hmm. or i want mm -hmm. a leg spreader 
Nobody should laugh at you. No, no, no. A person must be helpful to you. Mm -hmm. They must say, okay, so what kind of leg spread are you on? Mm -hmm. And he might ask you, have you ever tried it? Say, well, yes, of course. I know what a leg spreader is. I know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Right? So you make the person feel comfortable, not only because you are, you are interacting with them, but you are knowledgeable about the product yeah, because you have so actually true. used the product. Mm -hmm. So you're first. Right? Yeah? Like the hammock and the swing that we have there right now. Mm -hmm. That is something that a couple could really enjoy themselves having sex with, you know. It's a harness that holds the woman or the guy mm -hmm. and the other person could take full advantage of them, you know, sexually. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Somebody say 42nd Street closed down. You, you are dead man. You, who tell you that closed 42nd? down? 42nd? In your mind that closed down. That, was that is that it closed down? No, that, that was my hunting ground in the 70s. No, no. What he don't know, what he don't know, is 42nd Street has moved to another street. Mm -hmm. That's what he don't know. No. But that is for the uneducated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what people don't know. Sex mm -hmm. don't stop selling. When is Giuliani wanted to clean up New York City, that was the first thing he did. He moved 42nd Street, which is the heart of, of Manhattan. Yeah. He asked, <laughs> he gave them incentive to move mm -hmm. and set up shop not too far. So that is what he don't know. Yeah, but apart from that, what he don't know as well is even though he moved them out of 42nd Street, he can have them painting the bodies naked and are still on 42nd Street. You know, they're using these paints. And yeah, they, yeah, they're using paints and, and, and tape. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah, seen so I have seen women walk the street butt naked with, with, pa with paint on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're totally naked. Well, I was watching a show last night, one of these foreign shows, and as you mentioned there a couple of seconds ago, they're making bad suits with only tape. tape. Well, they have that, but, they, and, I mean, but no, they, they, people know about that now. Yeah. Ask Checky, the doc. Mm -hmm. I carry him to a sex show, a trade show, three years ago, where they were doing that. And, and, and only now they're doing it in bikini yeah. and thing. Yeah. That's what people see now. But I could show you photographs of that where it's being done three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a big no, it's Yeah, a big that's thing. why I tell you what. What people think is new, it's not new. They're using black tape and they're doing... Black and red and, and yeah. they're doing designs and... Same electrical tape. And the person looks as though they have on a bath suit. Mm -hmm. hmm. Amazing. So you never know. Well, I'm telling you, this industry will not die. Mm -hmm. It just gets different. It gets better. There's so many... I, I, I walked into an adult store earlier this year. I was blown away. When I saw... The volume of mm -hmm. items mm -hmm. and the volume of new items. Now, I go to all the trade shows. I was in a big trade show last week. I'm going to a, a, a big one in Europe, the biggest one in Europe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to that next week. And I see things the average man do not see. I see things that the average human being Don't does have. not see. What when it mean? comes to things of a sexual nature. Mm -hmm. Like today, some guys were talking and they, you know, they were making, they were uh, mentioning something about sex. And I told them, I said, the things that you're talking about, that has come to me. I just see that almost every day. They say, nah, you, what are you talking stupidness? I said, I don't talk. Mm -hmm. I don't talk. And I have leave, nothing to say. And you leave them with that? I leave them with that. But look, Kendrick will tell you that. Black tape design. He, I carry him and show him that. They were doing it there right in front of you. A naked woman and they start taping her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nice. And Hugh Hefner was there too. Mm -hmm. He was there at that trade show. Uncle Hugh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not Uncle Hugh. Hefner. Hefner. He's, Uncle he's Hugh. dead now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he passed yeah. out. Yeah, he passed. passed. So, I am transcending. And I am allowing individually, ordinary man and woman in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm to back it up with financing, to be part of the growing trend, and to be involved in it as a shareholder. That's all. Mm -hmm. And sit back and watch things develop. But knowing that you are part of it. That's important. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is important. Yeah, because you know that you're watching it develop, but mm -hmm. you know that you're part mm -hmm. of it. And you know, later down the road, maybe a year or two after, some people might even come to you and say, 
my family, I don't know why I didn't get involved in this. When well, no, it's, it's not too late, you know. I'll tell you why it's not too late. The plan I have is a mega plan. There are other things attached to it. Mm -hmm. But it's a huge plan. And that plan transcends one year, two year, three years. Mm -hmm. So once there's room for investment, I am taking investment. I am taking the investment and making it work. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not being hoarded, you know. Mm -hmm. The investment, I tell you, before people put their investment, I put out my investment mm -hmm. because one person say, well, Dr. Raj, you don't really need anybody capital and thing to do this. You, know, you could do it on your own. I say, yes, I could. But I'm giving people the opportunity to own to part of a business, yeah. to be a shareholder in a business, mm -hmm. to participate. So know that I have shareholdings in that business that is being developed, which the ordinary man does not have a chance. Mm -hmm. And if you go and buy shares in a company now, you get very little dividends and there's very little growth on your shares. And Kenry could tell you that because we've been buying shares in Trinidad since 1984. He could tell you that. I introduced him to buying shares. It was six years ago, Kenrick. My God, mm -hmm. I actually thought it was three years ago. As a matter of fact, today he posted up 15 pictures of that um, on mm -hmm. Facebook for me, sent it for me, mm -hmm. with the taping and everything too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So as a, as a, so, imagine you brought it up. Yeah. yeah. But I am giving the ordinary person who wants to invest a chance to get dividends of a higher rate, to invest in a business that is growing, and to see their investment grow. Yeah. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 21 minutes before 12, Sexplosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Well, at 21 minutes before 12 o'clock, we'll take our last break, huh? commercial break, that is, and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Wow, I can't believe it was six years ago. Uh -huh. To me, it just looked like yesterday. I go to so many shows, eh? it's unbelievable. No, but well, I know when you go, where they... Yeah, that, the one in Germany is the biggest in the world. Uh -huh. But that is only by invitation. Eh? Only by invite? Only by invite. There, there's one in Hawaii going on right now. I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to go to the one in Hawaii yeah. and then go to the one in Europe. The one in Hawaii is, but then there was one in Miami for us buyers. Uh -huh. So I had a choice between Hawaii. The two. Ma, it's actually Maui, not Hawaii. Uh -huh. Maui, one of the Hawaiian islands. To spend two days there by invitation only, or Miami this and we can go on over up to up to Wednesday and then Europe. Wow. So I choose Miami and Europe. So you're leaving here by weekends with Sir Charles and Tuesday, Tuesday, Saturday mornings, seven to nine a.m. Classics. Arrive in Germany on Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, I was sitting. I was sitting in first class with a, a famous Trinidadian, where everybody coming and shaking my hand. So the person told me, I say, "Who are you?" So you go find out. So the one of the army, a host, Steward, came and telling him now. Say, um, you're sitting next to a, a, a real good guy there, you know, because he listens to the program and things. He said, who is that guy? He said, you'll find out. <laughs> and he gone. He said, no, 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 tell me who you are. So we started to have a conversation. And I tell him. He said, oh, okay. <laughs> He was blown away. No, you travel a lot. And we ended we end up becoming good friends. Yeah. yeah. This is Capri and you're listening to Power 102. Oh. The power of music. Somebody call in now. Saturdays from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day on a Saturday. When we on a break? On Power 102. Yeah, Empowering you. Want to get your products and services out to more customers? How about getting more people into your store? Does well, that really get some exposure? Cool. So you realize it, Cole? Why should you be With packages tailored to your needs. That's why I was wearing this, you know. I came in here, bro. I came in here, bro. I came in here, bro. 
empowering you. And I don't feel so cold. At 6 to power, that's 6 to 7, 6, 9, 3, 7. And ask to speak to a client advisor about your ideas and brand. We are Power 102, empowering you and your business today. The Lip Zone. Born out of the womb of struggle and rebellion, Calypso, a language of uprising and emancipation from the African slaves on the plantations. I cut in this commercial break so we could get this score. Songs of freedom and yes. revolt, Calypso. Well, why don't you get up and just tell it all? I don't hold on a second, huh? Just wait for the commercial break. Hello? Okay, one minute. all through the month of October with features, discussions, analysis, and of course, the music. The music. The story of Calypso, all through October on Power 102, celebrating Calypso History Month, our history. Hello and thank you for holding and welcome to Sex Explosion and Power 2.1 FM. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Yes, I was actually wondering, <laughs> what research do we have in Trinidad and Tobago for erotic art? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, you know. Um, you mean in terms of selling or producing? Well, funny you ask, right? I'm actually the producer of one of Trinidad's first erotic uh, online web comics. So I was actually wondering to find out if there's anybody else who actually does erotic art, especially fetish art, people. Um, well, there was one person who came to me about two or three years ago, and I told him there's something that I'm establishing, which I, I plan to establish early next year, that will involve that type of art. So if you keep in touch with me, or if you come and visit me, we could have a further discussion on it. Well, yes, that's true. Because, I mean, I've, I've found that personally, a lot of Trinis, they do like erotic art, but yet still they are afraid to pay for it. Well, yeah, that, that, that is, that is a, a fact, but there are individuals who are willing to pay for it also, but they don't know how to go about getting it. Yes, that's true. Because I run, I run a studio. Unfortunately, what? most of my clientele come from come from away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and they know what they want because there's nothing that surprises me anymore. Is it? You know, is it actually? The guys is who have the giantest fetish? The guys who actually have the foot crutter, foot crush fetish. Right. Else. Well, I have a lot of clients like that that come to me also, and, and you're right. The foreigners are in the majority. I just wish that our population will embrace, you know, the, the their local fetishes because I know they are out there. I just wish well, they would happen more. So, um, I have been trying for the last twenty-five years or more to make this into an industry where everyone could benefit from it, and I'm moving head on with it now. And Doctor Raj, I have supported you since day one. You know, I mean, I, I appreciate younger, that. Yes. But yet still, you know, I am in support of liberalism and erotic art and whatnot. But I just haven't seen it that it's there yet, you know? No, it's not there yet, and I agree with you. But it could it could reach there, and it could also reach further than Trinidad. I wish it can, because I've got clients from all over the world. It could. But unfortunately, it just doesn't come from a native land, you know? Mm -hmm. That's sad. Yeah. Um, are we talking about photography or actual paintings? Actual artwork. Actual artwork. Actually, well, I'll put it out there. There's a comic, right? There's, there's a Trinidadian online web comic mm -hmm. called www.binarymoon. Well, binary, binarymooncomic.com. Right. Which is actually a online free web comic. And it's made by Trinidadians for Trinidadians, mm -hmm. but yet still, the comic doesn't get that support from the local Trinis. 
Well, um, well, let's put it this way. It's the first time I'm hearing about it. But if I know about it and I take a look at it, I could do the marketing for it because of the audience that I have. Yes, of course. Well, and, the, and the marketing doesn't cost any money to anyone because yes. once I start talking about something, people will gravitate towards it. Correct. Well, so then, if people reach if out to me like you are doing I, now... I don't want to take much of your time anymore. Mm -hmm. But if you look at uh, www.binarymooncomic.com, you will see what it's about. I will I will take down the address here and I will look I will look at it, but I will I'll also invite you to come and meet me sometime so we can talk about it. Of course, of course. I mean I'm up to anything. I have nothing to lose. This is not something I do for profit. This is something just that I want to give to the world. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Binarymooncomic.com. If you go to the comic website, leave a comment. There's no need to register your email. Just register. Sorry, not the register. Just just comment. I'll try. Okay, it's www.binarymooncomic.com, right? Correct. But I, I just put it here on my phone, so I will look at it either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, Doctor. And thanks for Thank sharing. Thank you so much. Well, thanks a lot for calling. Mm -hmm. Hang up that call. Let me, uh, well, I, I'm in the line there. No, I think, oh, right. Didn't I tell you that there's a bigger plan for this? Yes, you did. Yeah. This is all part of the plan. What the People like him who have a vision for something when it comes to erotic art, people who create items of a sexual nature, yeah. people who want to manufacture something, I want to give them the opportunity now to showcase their stuff. Mm -hmm. It all comes right into... I want to do. give them the opportunity to showcase their items and say this is locally made. Mm -hmm. So a foreigner coming to the shop can see that. A person yeah. traveling outside of Trinidad, going to Guyana, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, could come to the shop and buy that item and say, well, wait a minute, this is made in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is made here. Yeah, it's not important. It's not important. It's a local something. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a piece of artwork. One of the best pieces of artwork I ever bought was a threesome that was done locally in pencil. And it's one of my prized art pieces that I have. Pencil? A threesome in pencil. Done locally. And you wouldn't believe the beauty of that. I look at it every single day. Well, I can't help but look at it where well, I have it. Well, I'm glad that person called. Eh? And, uh, you know, but it's... I am sure there are others like me who appreciate that type of art oh, yeah. and who will willingly purchase a piece oh, yeah. simply because of an investment, mm -hmm. one, two, to support the art form. And I always believe in supporting something. Support it. Support it however. And you support by contributing or buying. That's how you support. And, the bottom and we must have, we must have as a local franchise of stores, uh, 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 stores all over, where a person could put one or two pieces like that and say there's more, but go to this site, mm -hmm. or order your stuff here. We yeah. must have that. Yeah. We must have an interlinking of these things. Mm -hmm. Because it is not about Dr. Rajan. All it will be branded Dr. Rajan. Mm -hmm. Because I am putting my name behind it. And I'm putting my name behind it because of security for my shareholders. So they know that Dr. Raj is behind this. Because that is the man that they really, they invested in me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if I expire tomorrow, the entity continues. It's there to continue. The major shareholders and whatnot, they will, they continue. will continue. That's the most important thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's continuity. Mm -hmm. And there's continuity with success also. So yes, I would like all the local persons who are doing all the things, photography, whatever, videography, or whatever, to come on board. And there's something big coming next year. Nice. Remember the gentleman I, to, I, I talked to you about who I gave a, a little job oh, yeah. mm -hmm. to yes. get things started? Yeah. The bigger plan involves him also. Mm -hmm. I've already shown him the, the layout the, of the it. Layout. Mm -hmm. The layout, the ins and outs. Beautiful. Something, I'm looking forward to that. No, well, that is something big. Mm -hmm. When that come aboard next year, mm -hmm. it will be mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. 
I'm looking for that. It will be mind blowing. So two things I'm I am hoping. For. I am hoping my dear friend, who is contributing the most to that, mm -hmm. is dear for the opening because I want to dedicate it to him. Nice. That would be great. That would be great. That would be nice. It is not about me. It's about him mm -hmm. because of what he went through. Mm -hmm. No, that would be nice. And somebody must remember him mm -hmm. in some form or the other. Not for the notoriety that he was remembered for, mm -hmm. but for something that he's contributed. And something that is different completely to what his regular part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's my whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not selfish. You know? If it's mm -hmm. one thing, I'm not selfish. I will gladly assist and move on with things. I will gladly do that. Absolutely. It's just for me to get the right people behind me. And timing. And timing. And now the timing is right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, based on what I'm doing, based on what is happening, the timing is right. The plums is ripe on the tree. <laughs> it's ripe for the picking. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, folks, taking time, it's now seven minutes before 12 o'clock. So you, you do have seven minutes more in which you can interact with the guru of sex education, Dr. Brad Bramlin, those of you who would love to chat with him before he leaves here this Friday evening, feel free at 2228255, also at 6128255. You can also send him a WhatsApp message at 7401961. That's his private mobile right here on Power 102 FM. Yeah. Somebody asked a question. Does it, Doctor, is it normal for a man's penis to be under two inches when flaccid, but six inches and... When it's erected, yes, that's called a grower. A person who, who is a grower, yeah. who has a, a penis that looks very small in the flaccid state, will grow to three, four, five times the size in the erected state. A person who is a sure will have a penis that looks like five inches yeah. in the flaccid state, and when it expands, it goes to about six inches, and that's it. Mm. So you have growers and you have yeah. sures. Mm -hmm. So. I see Izzy is only sending me a message. No, what happened, Izzy? Izzy? Izzy, they send him on. Anyway, folks, taking time, five minutes before 12, it's explosion. And uh, for those of you who might have just joined us for the very first time, or as a matter of fact, listening to Sex Explosion for the very first time, Sex Explosion is featured here every Thursday and Friday evening, right here on Power 2.1 FM, the Sex Knowledges, the only one in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramnanen, he comes in on a Thursday, he sits with my brother, Matt Daddy, they go from 7 until 9 o'clock, then he's back here with me on a Friday evening from 9 until 12. Yeah. The adult industry in Trinidad could be an industry that involves tourism, you know. and that is my focus next year. You know. When they're looking for ways for Trinidad to earn income on foreign exchange, yeah. it is one of the ways you know, way, way to do it. When ministers after ministers were talking about medical tourism, I have had people come from all over the world for treatment for sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, penis enhancement in sweet little Trinidad and Tobago. And next year, my vision is to make Trinidad the mecca for adult tourism. Well, I was just, as you were mentioning that, what came across my mind in that last couple of seconds there is that when this, these stores get on stream, you are thinking in terms, or you can look at the other little at the other islands in the Caribbean coming here to get things. Well, not only no, no. Nature. not only that we could franchise to them, and you could you can that as but well. But I don't follow anybody. You know, I want people to understand that. You know. mm -hmm. I have never followed anyone in the adult industry. You know. Well, I have a line I use, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. I'm a leader, not a follower. I'm a, of course. I have never fought. There's no, there's no model for this business out there. You know? mm -hmm. I create my own model. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't go to a country and follow what they're doing. You know? I yeah. create my own thing based yeah. on the Trinidad I model. I believe in that. I'm a so I want people to understand that. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in that. A leader, not a and what I have planned for the next... I am so excited eh, that... <laughs> you like the Pointer Sisters? I'm excited. More than <laughs> 
<laughs> more than them because there are so many things coming out I from know. this brain. I know. Yeah, but they the, make this thing work. But you see, the thing about it eh, is that once you start with an idea to bring forth, other ideas just tumble automatically. Eh? Correct. You always go to that extra when you now. But apart from doing this, I could own. I could almost extend myself and go a little further. Correct. And, and that's what I want up, to do. I just continue to do. Time. You know, and that's, that's and continue great. to do. Mm -hmm. So with that, folks, we've reached the end of our program tonight. Yeah. We must thank you very much for having me in your homes, your cars, under the house, the outhouse, wherever you choose to listen to the program, Phone. whoever you t choose to listen to the program with, whether you're sharing headphones or you have your own headphones yeah. on. Um, thank you very much for having me. Yeah. And yeah. until next time, um, Junior will let you know when next I'm, I'm on. Yeah. And Mac Daddy will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Pleasant good evening to you and have a wonderful weekend. Beautiful. You've been listening to Sex Explosion on Power to Tune Point One FM with the guru of sex education, the only one in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramlinam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center at St. Augustine. Thanks as always, family, for dropping in every Thursday and Friday evening. Now, for those of you on the roadways, folks, please, I'm seeing some driving at night. It's unbelievable. Crazy. So for those of you on the roadways, remember, driving is a privilege. You know that, right? If you're good to it, it's going to be good to you. Don't drink and drive. So until next time, I'm Junior Sardin of Family. Take care of yourself and each other. Do have yourselves a beautiful day tomorrow. Hey, look, love you.